Guys, gals, ladies and gents, welcome back. Time for a little side questing stream on Yakuza. Three. Hey, now you're here. Bob Utsunoi the third. Take some extra mode items. What does that mean exactly? It's probably better if I didn't ask. Stammer Royale, Tariner, Toughness Emperor, Collapsible Hammer. Fuck, Fearless Binding. Don't go losing this now. I have... I can't give you more than one rules and restrictions, you see? My hands are a little tied. I just spit it out, you must be... What's that? Couldn't hear you. Speak up if you have something to say, no? You don't? Okay, then... Come back another time. Seriously, scram. Um... Expendable staff. I need four of those anyway, so that's pretty chill. Antique chain mill. Is he just gonna keep on giving me shit? Red Lion Dagger? That's for free. Freebies! Swat Body Armor. He's just giving me free stuff. I can't say I hate it. Okay, so first things first, I guess the first side quest that we're going to do. Hey, Rikia. He's alive! Mm, oh. Of interest. He's alive! Stats. Oh. Hey, Sardo, finally the Friday, the moment I was waiting for a whole week. Where's the video? My disappointment is immersible and my day is ruined. <sighs> now you should have checked the everyone messages in the Discord, Sardo. Kiryu normal. Back, yeah. I went out of my way. Is this better than this one? Is this armor though? Or as sorry. Don't know. Uh keep that. Okay, it's armor. Put it away. After all, I did do a Yu-Gi-Oh stream. Okay, so... Fuck this guy. Punks! Ow. Double runes. Yeah. 
Schmeckt. But yeah, Sardolf, I'm gonna do things like Yu-Gi-Oh for the time being during day streams. If I have a lot of time on my hands, I'll be streaming extra during the day. Thank you for the money. Money, money, money. Okay, so... Did I buy everything here? Yeah. Means we're gonna empty up a different store. I don't know how... If there is like a limit to how much I can actually eat in this game. In previous games there was, but maybe not in this one. This is a fucking list. No point in eating. Okay. I get it, game, I get it. So all the side quests are now available, but there's one side quest that I really gotta do first. Before I could do anything else. The locker keys will come after that. Most likely. Or time to go hunting. So we should go all the way to West Park. Bitch. What's well, a crack a lack and cute you, son? I am uh, not much, Mac. You ever get that perfect shot you were looking for? Can't say I did. Been scoring every last corner of this town, but all I've come up with is a big fat fistful of nothing. Sorry, hear that. Guess you can't expect opportunities to just fall into your lap, though. Let me know if I can help. Appreciate that to the heaven high above, cute you, son. Hey, by the way, you mentioned some place you wanted to take me last time. Thinking you can elaborate? Oh, snap, cute you, son. That whole thing just up and slipped my mind. You bet I'll be... Uh, I'll, you bet I'll elaborate. It's the hippest, swankiest, and roughest stumbling joint in the side of the Sea of Japan. Wow, Jesus. Yours truly just happened to have a buddy bring, bringing home the bacon over there. Saying he works there, right? Dang Skippy. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you what it's called. Purgatory. Kind of scary sounding, huh? Did you say purgatory? Look, I know the names kind of gives you the heebie-jeebies, but don't doubt good old Mac. I haven't breathed a sweeter sip of air than when I first stepped foot in that place. Anyway, I get the feeling my perfect shot's just around the corner. And by around the corner, I of course mean through some weird door in the bathroom stall. Well, kitty son, gotta run. I'll tell you my purgatory pal you're coming, so stop by if you can muster the courage. Purgatory? Mac, he's something. I guess I could swing by Purgatory when I have the time. Isn't that like... Oh. Your regular old place? Scene. 
Ouf. Okay, um... Sub stories. Instant ramen takes time. Manga mania. Reckoning. <laughs> Things never change. Where is it? The return to the Dragon Palace. Kaorucho. Is it the distiller's treasure? Gun Palace, this one. Okay, go to the question mark east of the batting center and you'll see some punks hanging out looking to go hunting. Now head west and north towards the edge of the map and you'll see a homeless guy surrounded by punks. Bring them then back to the punks at southeast, smash all five of them, then their leader will come out. He's actually pretty good, so be careful with the fight. After defeating all of them, gain access to the Dragon Palace. Shortly thereafter, you'll get a phone call from the casino owner, letting you know both the casino and the gambling hall are open again. West. Oh, I ran into the wrong direction. North, east, south, west. No wonder I couldn't find it. Oh. Honestly... Honestly... Smash face in. I thought it was east. Even though this park is called West Park. <laughs> oh, there they are. You, you gotta help me, they're gonna murder me. It's wrong. Those guys there. Hey, come on now, you know we don't get outsiders involved in this. Garbage belongs in the dump, doesn't it? See, we're all about the environment. You gotta sort your trash. You wanna tell me what you're doing? Taking out the trash? Or if you wanna be cute about it, hobo hunting. <laughs> we're cleaning up the stinking hobos in this part of town. Like... They say everyone's got to pitch in to keep the city clean. These punks, they didn't just go for my shelter, but they went after Tatsu and Masa. Come on, pal. Let's just handle this garbage. Don't worry. We'll give you the real good beating. You bastards. We'll see who gets that beating. And what's that supposed to mean, old man? You think someone's gonna give us a smackdown? That would be me. Dumb kids like you should stick to your treehouse clubs. We've got our own trash to deal with. <laughs> no way, man. Is this some kind of joke? Oh, man, you're killing me here. What can one old dude like you do anyway? Come on, let's teach him a lesson.
Damn it, why ain't, why ain't you scared of us? Kamurucho I grew up in is very, very different from yours. Ugh. These guys are part of this community. You kids are just new trash on the block, so don't touch them again. This is over, old man. This is over. Thank you so much. You ever get in a pinch like that, just run. You don't want to tangle with those punks. I have a favor to ask. You from one man of Kamarucho to another. Oh, what's that? I need you to help our friends. Help how? As it happens, those punks have been targeting us homeless for a reason. They stormed our main shelter and turned it into their hideout. Some Ben building in Kamarucho, uh. I take? Yeah, well, Kamarucho Hills was uh, slated for construction in Purgatory three years ago. We had to hole up somewhere else. Now these thugs have driven us out of our building and whenever they see us, they beat us down. They're the worst of the worst. These young thugs are too much for us. Can you step in for us and take back Dragon Palace once and for all? Do you say the Dragon Palace? Yep, that's what we've been calling the place, the Dragon Palace. The name sounds familiar. I feel like I heard about this Dragon Palace some three years back. Where's this Dragon Palace anyway? It's behind the map info center. So how about it? Want to take the Dragon Palace back from these punks? Sure. Amrucho is no place for that kind of toxic mold. We can't let it go unchecked. I'm not going to let some pack of kids ruin my town. I, I'm not sure what you're getting at, but thanks all the same. You're a savior. Good luck out there. Got it. You got it. Take takes in there. I think they've took him away. Hope we can get him out soon. And they beat the crap out of Masa too. Swoles. I think they can get away with this. Wait a minute. Who are you? Are you guys who were chased out of the Dragon Palace? That's us. And we're about to go take it back. The more We're more than garbage, damn it. We're done getting kicked around by these punks. Let them try and kill us. We're taking our home back. Come on, nobody's killing anyone. Anybody. You know that won't solve anything. Someone has to stand up to them. Your friend told me all about it. I'm here to get the Dragon Palace back for you. Are you serious? Yeah. I used to live here myself way back when. And I know how, it f how you feel. They're not the first scumbags to think they own this town. Just let me handle it. Well, if you say so. But you gotta let us come with you, come on, please. It's going to be dangerous, I know, I know, but we can't rest easy until we see those punks put in their place. Okay, let's do it. People need to clean up after themselves. Look at all this trash in the streets. Now, who the hell do you think you're talking to? I know that smell, you wanna tell me what they're doing here? This is your fan club or something? I'm not here to talk, I'm here to beat the rules of the city into you. Shut the hell up, you got a problem with up? Bring it up, old man! Bring it up! Homeless hunters. Stomp right on the face. How are you anyway? 
we're underage, you know. I don't care if you're Yakuza or whatever. If you screw with us, you'll know what happened. I can guess, but I know Kamarucho cops aren't dumb enough to take your word for it. Learned that myself a long time ago. Oi. You guys gotta keep it down. Look what you've done to my poor widow henchman. So you're their leader? And what if I am? Get out of the Dragon Palace now. Sorry, the Dragon what? The building you've made your hideout. You're going to get out of there now. Who's gonna make me, buddy? You don't look like a cop to me. I'm not in the mood for negotiations. This is an order, so I suggest you listen up. <laughs> oh man, you're hilarious. I gotta hand it to you. In all my 19 years, you are the first guy to lecture me to my face like this. You think you're my babysitter? You used to taking care of kids, yeah, except mine are a lot smarter than you guys. Well, I guess I don't mind giving up a shithole like that place. As long as you got the replacement in mind, there's no room in Kamarucho for you punks. Oh, that's some big, that's some pretty big talk. Okay, then let's play a game. What kind of game? See, at first, I just kicked the hobos around because I was in a bad mood. Didn't have to be them. Anyone would be fine. Well, once we start smacking around, though, once in that building, we got used to it. Now even that's gotten all... Cut to monologue. Ask few question. Right, this game. Basically, all I want to do is hit someone. So, how about I hit you instead? Oh, but you can hit me back, of course. So that's it. You're looking for a fight. Hey, don't underestimate me. I'm stronger than I look. If you win, you get your little hangout. Fair and square. Sound good? Fine, so it's a one-on-one -on -one fight. Oh there, old man. You're pretty into this, huh? Well, don't blame me if I accidentally kill you. <sighs> Young brainless punks. Oh, he is actually pretty strong. But slow. Definitely no Mine level. But for the time that uh, the quest comes, or this mini, the side quest came out, well, side quest came out, that it becomes available. Ugh, God, you actually beat me? Kids these days aren't what they used to be, but I'm done here. I'm sick of wasting time. Get out of the building. Yes, sir. Let's, the homeless band together to stop you. Take that as proof. This town is alive. Come back when you know what that means. When you know the difference between your games and a real fight. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. You don't know how much this means to us. You're a hero. Stop that. Now we can go back to the Dragon Palace, and that means we can reopen the gambling hall. Not so loud, you idiot. <laughs> what gambling hall? Keep it under your hat, but those homeless guys like to get together and run some games of chance. We have Silo, Hanafuda, you know, well, yeah, of course you know. Yeah, how about you join our little club? It's alright, isn't it? Yeah, we owe you one. You come by and play anytime you like. Alright, I'll stop by sometime. We'll be waiting for you. Now, we gotta go tell our buddies the Dragon Palace stars again. IH Water Purifier. Congratulations, you've been selected to test our company's brand new Super IH Water Purifier. Simply fill out a short survey and the Super HI Water Purifier is yours. Please visit us at the address below so we can tell about our product and its installation procedure. It's the greatest model supplies are limited, so first customers <laughs> Park Boulevard offices Kamarucho. Purifiers, eh? Says the company is over at Bark Boulevard. Isn't that the former Camarucho Hills construction site? Hmm. 
uh, not upgrades, email, profile, sub stories. Return to the Dragon Palace. He's training. Max running training. Ah, okay. First back to Stardust. Okay. And Distiller's Treasure, we still haven't done anything with that. Let's go to the water purifiers first, because that's where it's closest by. Hello, is this Q to you, son? Yeah, speaking. Sorry to call you out of the blue like this. I'm from the Dragon Palace. Dragon Palace, all oh, right. Yes, thanks to you, Dragon Palace has regained its former glory. Sino and our gambling hall have already reopened. I hope you come visit us soon. But you, I'll do just that. We're looking forward to seeing you again, thanks. Oh, are you one of the lucky few chosen? Congratulations. Let me show you to our office. Enter the office. Absolutely, absolutely. Welcome, and my most sincere congratulations on being selected as a product tester. How exciting for you. Company Super IH Water Purifier, state-of-the-art, utilizing the same electromagnetic coil system as induction heaters. Electromagnetic power not only removes chlorine, but also kills bacteria and adds alkali ions, so your water will actually make you healthy. Oh, pardon me, I haven't asked you your name. It's Kiryu. Kiryu-san. All right, then, Kiryu-san. From what you've heard so far, do you have an idea of how wonderful our Super IH water purifier is? More or less, well, I'll wait till you hear this. All people selected to test our water purifiers will get to keep the model they tested after the evaluation period is through. We're talking about a super I, uh, IH water purifier that sells for 1 million yen at retail. Now, what do you think? Isn't it the most amazing product you've ever seen? Stop asking me that and get on with your pitch already. The super IH water purifier produces water that makes you healthy just by drinking it. And right now, you've earned the right to receive one free of charge, Kiryu san. There are just one thing I'd like you to know first. What happens to be a th uh, 300 yen fee to have the product professionally installed in your home. That's actually the price of the necessary parts. You don't have to pay the labor. Isn't that right? That's right. The HI, uh, the Super HI water purifier itself and the plumbing Labor costs are on us. You just have to pay for the parts, so kitty son. I know 300,000 yen is a fair amount, but what do you say? It's a small price to pay for such a life-altering device. Okay, go for it. Yeah, will this do? Thank you, thank you very much. We'll have the Super IH water purifier delivered to your home. We'll be in touch to schedule the installation. Let me show you the way out. Have a great day and thank you again. This water purifier. Haven't heard from them since. 
Sub stories, sub stories. Okay, I didn't complete it the right way, apparently. I just lost 300... ...thousand yen. That is actually kind of a shame. Kind of a shame indeed, Yakuza. Probably should have just refused. Would have gotten a better ending. Oh yeah, I was gonna go Ian in here. Please come again. White HP. Excuse me, aren't you kidding you, son? It's me, Kitagawa, the Mars fighter, remember? You helped me set straight back in Sotenbori about two years ago. Tagari Mars fighter. Oh, right! You really saved my bacon. I killed it at the Grand Prix, and I finally hit it big in Tokyo. Glad to hear it. You back in Kamarucho on personal business? Uh, no, I'm on the clock, buddy. We're shooting a drama right nearby. What do I look like? I'm on vacation, kid you, son? Well, I thought you always worked with a partner, but I don't see him around. Oh, you mean Mina Mizawa? Yeah, things aren't exactly going smooth there. Something happened? Well, everything was great when we debuted as the Mars Fighters about a year back, but six months after Minazawa... After Minazawa up and vanished. He didn't leave you any kind of clue about where he was going. Not a one. Honestly, doing variety uh, show gigs in Tokyo isn't exactly glamorous life. So maybe he decided enough was enough. Me, I'll take whatever work pays the bills, but you know how Mina Mizawa was set on sticking to Manzai Komri. I remember, yeah. Since he left, uh, I've been getting by on talk show appearances and TV shit dramas, but I'm worried about the guy. Whenever I get a break between gigs, I pick up the search for him again. But yesterday I heard someone spoiled him in Kamarucho, so here I am. But well, no sign of him. I want to do Mazai Comedy with him again, but until I can, I gotta keep working so our audience never forgets the Mars Fighters. I see. Look, you son if you spot uh, Mina Mizawa around town, you want to give me a call? Take my number and one of his recent picks. Alright, I'll call you if I find Mizawa. Mina Mizawa. Thanks, thank you so much. Kitagawa-san, it's almost time. Ah, jeez, already? Okay, I gotta shoot coming up, so I gotta run. Sorry to drag you into this, but please keep an eye out for him. Whew. Like my song? Well, I'm no expert, but I'd say it wasn't bad. I see. No matter how much I play, nobody ever listens. I guess it doesn't really matter if anyone listens or not. Sorry about that. Didn't need to complain. It's alright. I'm Hideki, by the way. A washed up musician, as you can see. And you are? Kiryu. Kiryu. Where have I heard that name before? Meh. I guess Kiryu is a pretty common name. You're the only Kiryu-san who's ever stopped to hear me sing, though. Thanks for listening. 
You can usually find me here. Come by and listen again sometime. Sure. I get the chance. Sorry to keep you. See you around. Bet I have to save his ass at some point. Did I have any new... Yeah, only one. Comfy soul. I need to go look for those at some point, anyways. Wait, what's that? I hear and see someone jump in. I don't know why. I don't know why you always get so insecure. I wish you could see what I see when I'm looking in the mirror. And why won't you believe me when I say That to me you get more beautiful every day Oh, oops. Oh, all kills kill. A barque pearl. Let's go. What's going on here? Oh my goodness, are you fan of Yusama too? Yusama, don't tell me you've never heard of Yusama, the Korean megastar. Il Eugene. What planet are you from? Oh, right, Il Eugene. Got it. Yusama's doing special light performance of Winter Gift today here in Kamarucho. He'll be coming out soon, but there are a ton of other women trying to hog his attention. This rate, I'll never get his autograph. Ow, my brain. Oh, I know. How about you get his autograph for me? I'm sure it'll be fun. Autograph, huh? All right. I don't know what this has to do with any quests. Just then. I'll pay you for your trouble, of course. All you have to do is take this up and get it signed. Get in position for some nice shots of you, Summer. Guess I'll go get his autograph. Approach Il Yu Yin from the front, talk to him, his autograph. To get his autograph without bumping... Go get his autograph without bumping into them. And three... Bump into them three times though and you'll lose your chance. No. Hey, stop pushing! That was not a... I didn't hit that, though. You have made it. Give me your autograph, please. Wait a minute. Is that you, to your son? No. I think about it. I've met this guy before. Didn't we meet a few years ago? Yes, we met before, Kiryu's son. You show me around Kamarucho, then. It's nice to see you again. <laughs> I'd say the same. You come to see me today? You could say that. Uh, why don't we talk uh, for a drink later? That sounds good. You take good care of me before. Oh, right, someone asked me to have you sign this. Would you mind? Hey, who are you people? You're Il Yujin, aren't you? Ain't you? That Korean star who makes shitloads of money, right? What do you want from me? Let me tell you, my boss's wife is a real big fan. Might even be your biggest, pretty boy. Oh, that's nice. I was thinking you could come with us and we could give her a little private interview right now. Well, I have a big performance to do now. Very sorry, but must be going. Maybe you didn't understand, or are you trying to disrespect us? You're coming whether you like it or not, hotshot. The man said no. Who the hell is this prick? You're fucking with the wrong crew, pal. I'm not fucking with anyone. I am straight face Yakuza man Kiryu. I punch and break bones for a living. All to protect the nice people and whatever. I'm just making shit up right now. Son of a bitch, let's get out of here. Thank you so much, don't mention it. Oh, I forgot to give you autograph here, please take it. Whoa, that fight was amazing. You're the best, you Sama, the best. I'd better hand over this autograph. You have the autograph? Yeah. 
Well done, and here's a little something for your troubles. You've accomplished something great today. I'd say you're an honorary Yusama groupie. Let's keep being the best fans we can be. <laughs> Did I seriously only get 5,000 yen for that shit? <sighs> oh boy. Uh, every single time that I like need to get some uh, HP back, I'll just run into a, a store and buy one of their food items. I need to get through all of that anyway. I say that to me you get more beautiful every day. Kashiwagi Han. Hey, you, excuse me, huh? You talking to me? Sorry to bother you, but are you Kazuma Kiryu? Yeah, that's me. And you are? I knew it. I'm a student at uh, Komaki Dojo. Komaki Dojo? Oh, you mean old man Komaki? I haven't seen him in forever. He started his own dojo, huh? Sounds like he's doing pretty well. Yes, sir, he is. Actually, I have a letter for you from him. He told me to give it to you if I ever spotted you in the city. wonder what he wants. How are you doing, my prized pupil? When I heard you'd return to Kamarucho, I knew I must pen a letter to you at once. I'm currently running a dojo at the Dragon Palace. I believe you're quite familiar with the location. I understand that while I was away on a short trip, you fought off some hooligans that were making trouble at the Dragon Palace. I want to extend my thanks to you for that. From the rumors I've heard, your life of peace and tranquility has not dulled your fighting edge. Knowing you, however, I suspect that a way of life may not last much longer. If you ever feel the need to train again, please stop by my dojo at the Dragon Palace. I'd be happy to help you get back into shape. However, there is one matter that may require your help. I'll tell you more when we meet in person. <laughs> I swear that old man never changes. It has been a while since uh, we last saw one another. Maybe I should go and pay old man Komaki a visit. Hey, is the old man back at the dojo now? Yes, Master Komaki has returned. Please take the elevator to the dojo floor. I'll go ahead and let him know you're here. Noise. Um, there's one rel revelation that we haven't actually picked up due to the fact that I needed Kom to do Komaki's training. Okay, let's see. Quests, there's one there, there, and there. Uh, one on the road, so it's fine. Doo -doo -doo. Every day. What are the items I have in my pocket right now? All sorts of garbage. I'll keep it in my pocket. Mister, listen, I'm always looking for a fight, but not with weak-ass little mofos like you. <laughs> Suddenly he has three HP bars and he's very stubborn. That would be hilarious. I'm trying to get them to land on their face again, so that if I stomp them, I get something, a different move. But uh, who cares? How is the completion doing, by the way? Zero of the ten hostesses, coin locker 62 of the hundred, food and drinks 259, <laughs> heat actions 30, six of the 88, Cold Seam has 70. Weapon molding. Got a lot. Revelations is almost done. Mini games, done none. Bowling. 
At over 200 points in 10 frames. Fishing. I need to catch all the fish. Give me all the money in the register and be quick about it. Your life's worth more than your job, right? A robbery? Okay, okay, I'll let you... Uh, I'll get you the money right away, sir. Just don't hurt me. Stop fucking around and clean out the register. Scut the crap. What do you think you're doing? Who the hell are you, asshole? You want to die today? should be asking you that. Give it up. If you take this any further, you'll go to prison. I don't get, have a choice, man. Don't be a hero. I don't want to have to kill you. Convenience store robber. You think you can kill me? What the hell are you? So return yourself in now and you'll get a light sentence. No way. I can't get caught. I have to do this for her. I, ha I have to. For her. Out of my way! Is you running away? What happened to that criminal? Sorry, you got away. Is your cashier okay? Just fine. We're still got all our money and no one was injured. We have to chase down that criminal and I've got to call the police. I hate to be so bold, but could you go after the robber? We'd really appreciate it. The uh, robber had something else going on. What's he talking about? Go after the robber. Alright, leave him to me. Thank you, sir. I'll pay you for your service, so please. Quick on his feet. There's no trace of him. I need to ask around for witnesses. Sir, have you witnessed anything? Did you see the guy come flying out of the convenience store just a minute ago? People are going in and out of their time. What's he wearing? He was dressed in a black jacket. Uh, yeah, black jacket. Okay, I saw a guy in black jacket rocking me towards the children's park. Park, got it. Thanks. Seriously? Street thug. I just realized there's still a specific thing I need to do here. Um... Yeah, this one. I haven't been able to do this one yet. This is the first time. Almost time for mints. It's good to know. Um... button. This one was on his face, though. I know there's another move you can do if the position is different for some reason, and you just, like, flat-out kick this guy in the face to send him flying, but I don't know what the requirements exactly are for that one. Okay. Should be safe here. Hey. You've got nowhere else to run. How the hell did you find me? I'm not going to the cops. Do I have to beat you up again? He has more HP this time.
Something kind of changed with the blocking pattern of all the enemies. They're not blocking as much as they used to anymore. Damn it, I'm not gonna let you mess this up. Yoshio, please stop doing all this. Akami, what are you doing here? Police officer was asking me all these questions about a convenience store robbery and some investigation. I didn't want to believe it. Well, I did it. But this is the only way I can make you happy. Because my ex left me in debt. It's not anything for you to worry about, Yoshio. But, Akami, we're... You're pregnant. What are we gonna do about that... about the baby? What kind of father would I be if I let our child start out life in debt? If we keep working hard, we can make it through somehow. What am I gonna do if you're arrested? What do I tell him when he asks about you? Just... I don't know. So that's what this is all about. Run. I never saw you. What? No. If he runs now, he'll be on the run for the rest of his life. How could you say such an irresponsible thing? I don't want our child to learn to be the kind of person who doesn't own up to his mistakes, and I don't want our child to be ashamed of his own father. Please don't do this to us. Turn yourself in, Yoshio. Pay for your mistakes, and come back a new man. I promise I'll wait for you for as long as it takes. Be waiting with your our child. You're right, Akemi. Sorry about all this. You know, I actually feel kind of grateful to you, buddy. You helped us sort out this mess, so I'm gonna turn myself into the cops now. And it's just like Kemi said, I want to clean myself up before I hold my kid. It's time for us to pay a visit to the police now. Thank you for your help. Thank you. And that's what happened, I see. That robber knew he was making a mistake all along. Robbing a convenience store wouldn't get him nearly enough to pay off that heavy debt anyway. You know... I've got a little one of my own, and I can sort of empathize with how panicked that guy must have been. I'll go give my testimony to the police now, and I'll do what I can to get him a lighter sentence. Oh, there's the payment I promised you. It's not much, but I'd like you to take it. It's more than enough. More than enough! I wonder if the sub that sub-story has, like, uh bad ending there. Queen of Camarucho got a bad ending, Water Purifiers was the bad ending. Bargain Sill. Um Park Boulevard in case. Chick Snatcher Miss Collar. Under the table, Real Riders. Filled that one as well, only due to the fact that I hit the car. Robbing the orphanage. There's so many of these. I think I'm gonna bother though. Wait, that's not what I wanna say. Yordi, is your brain okay? <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna bother though, he says. What do you mean you're not gonna bother? You're gonna try and complete this game! Sometimes I really wonder what, like, my brain process is. Nothing, sadly. Uh, first go to the gambling hall. See if we can find any uh, keys laying around. Buy tanks, prizes... What is this? Camarucho Looper Key number 20. Oh. 
What can I get for prices here? Platinum plate. Uh, platinum plate is like 500, right? Or 1,000. Uh, 100,000. Blue dragon brooch. It's an antique. Almost children amulet. Gambler's biting. Chunk of wood. Sacred. To call the captator. I'm not reading it right. These are probably for upgrading. Mm, probably need to get my hands on a few of those at some point. Uh, casino. Buy chips. Poker. Map up poker face. Map up poker face. Kamaitachi Brand Cutter. Mystery Stone. Divine Dragon Short Sword. Wait, didn't I already get one of those? I don't remember. Uh, okay. There wasn't anything here. All that's left is to go to the dojo. Look at all these guys getting butchered by Kumaki. Manja. Well, if it isn't my favorite pupil. Has been far too long since our last meeting. I'm pleased you have come to see me. It's good to see you too. Doing well, I assume? Of course, I have more pupils than I know what to do with ever since I opened this dojo. It's been quite a while since you left Kamaruchu Kiryo. Kiryu, have you retained the skills I taught you, or have they grown rusty in the time that has passed? Well, I haven't been fighting for my life as much since I moved to Okinawa. I suppose I haven't really had many chances to use your moves in combat. To be honest, I'm not even sure if I remember them all anymore. Still, I might need to use your techniques to protect the ones I love. Would you mind teaching them to me again? Mm, very well, let us revisit your training once more. First, we must review what you've already learned. I can teach you new techniques if you can't not remember the simple basic. Let's see what you still remember. Sounds good. Hmm. Oh, ho Got it. Three of my former pupils work here in Kamarucho. Find them and challenge them to fight. Wait. I thought you were going to teach me again, not some of your pupils. Everything must be done in proper order. Defeating fighters who are skilled in my techniques should help you remember the moves you have forgotten. These pupils of mine are some of the finest fighters I've ever taught. You won't have an easy time, believe me. I believe you. I'm more than a little rusty. Alright, where can I find these pupils of yours? I'll tell you where you can find them. Listen carefully now. Pupil of my works at a sushi restaurant. He, quits his tra he quit his training to pursue his dream as sushi chef. Second one also works at some kind of restaurant. I don't remember the name, but it has something to do with smiling. The third one works as a barker on Shifuku Street. Shichifuku Street, I believe he works for some club. No, thank you. I got the list here anyways. And a blocked counter, Kumaki knockback, nice. Sushi Gins all the way down. Smile Burgers all the way down. It's just south of the betting center, so that's the best place to start off. Street level. Works at some club, so club jewel. Less damage and leaves you stunned. Come here, you scaredy cat. Scaredy cat.
Do I need to do them on in order? Because that would really suck. I don't like that when I need to do things in a specific order. Uh, I think that might actually be the case, having to do this in a specific order. Let's go talk to the girl here. Who are you? Everything okay? No, I feel like somebody's following me. Three days ago I came to Tokyo to try making it on my own, but I feel like some weirdo has been watching me this whole time. These are dangerous times. A girl like you shouldn't be walking these streets alone. I just transferred to a company here in Kamarucho. I don't know anybody. I'll bet you anything I'm being stalked. You think you got a stalker? Would you do me if- Medication, medication. Shit, yeah, do it. Take medication. You a crazy boy. And without the medication, you be crazier. Yori, Yori does it. Friday, Friday. Looking at boobs on Friday. I said nothing. Meds swallowed. Inhaled. <clears throat> Would you do me a favor and track down this creep who's following me? I'll pay you for it, of course. Sure, why not? Thank you so much. My name's Amy, by the way. What's yours, if you don't mind me asking? Kitty. Okay, Kitty, you son, I'm counting on you. I'll see if I can follow that guy without being spoiled. Cautiously follow the suspected stalker. Get too close, he'll spot you, but if you lose him. But you'll lose him if you let him get too far away from you. Hello, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. <clears throat> Alright, uh, forget about that one then. Your next target is... This is a guy, I can't hear what they're saying. They're splitting up, should I do? Uh... Follow a man with the glasses. It's another one of these. Follow him for a while. Side quests that can probably go for a better or worse ending. It's not like it matters which ending you technically get. But it can, like, improve your rewards... Hmm? Stalking some girl, aren't you? Excuse me, don't be ridiculous, right? Right, deny it all you want, Pops. Just leave this town nice and quietly and everybody will be happy. What? So what will be perverts? You gonna leave peacefully or do I gotta rough you up? It's, this is outrageous. Had enough with this city. Living here alone was a big mistake. Attack's going on. Is that guy really a stalker? Well, that's that. Better go get my payment now. 
like he's after a stalker too. Maybe yeah, I'll follow him for a while. What the son of a bitch never thought there'd be another stalker. Okay. What the hell are you talking about? You're my target, you damn skinhead. You, you are... Kitty, you son. This guy... We've been following you around. Whoa, 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 hold on a second there. This girl hired me to track down a stalker. What? It's true, I hired him to do the same thing you're doing. So that means... Hey, come on, guys. Hold it right there. Daddy? What? Hey, that's the pervert in the glasses. This is the stalker. I already told you that's not the case. I'm Amy's father, you big buffoon. This man's not a stalker either. I hired him to keep an eye on Amy. To make sure no one's suspicious. Men were sniffing about. Who's the stalker? I don't know. These past three days, Amy's been approached by 17 people, including you people. Most of them have been street barkers and the like. You're tracking stuff like that? Or father wouldn't. And seven of the 12 shops you've been to were restaurants. Don't you think you've been eating too much lately? Especially yesterday when you ordered that enormous sundae. Have you been getting enough exercise? And those clothes. Don't you think that outfit is a bit too revealing? Oh my god. The father is the stalker, but he's a father that's worried. Oh, what a plot twist. Mm. Getting on you, what if I had noticed and Are you listening to me, Amy? I told you not to hang your underwear up to dry outside. I mean, the whole world can see your laundry hang- Daddy, please, that's enough. Why do you know that much about her? Because I follow her like a shadow. How else is she going to stay safe in the city? For three days straight? Of course, I'm her father after all. I can't leave her alone in this crazy city. Is there something wrong? <laughs> I am- so, so sorry. It's not much, but please take it. I'm so sorry about this whole mess. My dad caused a whole lot of trouble for all of you. Don't put this on me, sweetie. It's because of how reckless you are. This is exactly why I told you that living alone out here was a bad idea. Well, just as long as everything's okay. Anything to happen to my Amy, do you? Daddy, why don't you stop doing this? I can't help it, sweetie. You know how I worry much about you. It's no excuse, Amy. Some people just can't let their kids go. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Yeah, I like that one. Very nice, very nice. Um, I do need to, like, get drinks and bantam as well. Might as well try and get to do one of the... Who are you? I of the Kamarucho police. Hmm? What a surprise if it isn't four chairman of the Tojo clan. You know who I am? Hey, you're famous in this town. Just the four chairman went with me anyway. To ask you about the Cafe Alps murder from six years oh. ago. Oh, that shitstorm. Yeah, that was my case. Why do you want to reopen that can of worms now? Trying to find out whether Yuchi Akechi really committed that murder or not. What? Are you saying you think he was falsely charged? Not a ch chance in hell. No? Why not? We aren't stupid, you know. The police don't arrest people without proof. We had plenty of evidence saying Akechi was the murderer. What kind of evidence? We had alibis, witness statements, fingerprints, and a motive that did it. Got all that evidence? Could you tell me a little bit more about it? Sure, I guess. Well, don't just stand here to have a seat. Didn't actually know this was part for a side quest. But let's see. Let's see. What do I ask? Ask about the alibis. As part of our initial investigation, we interviewed everyone who may have been involved in the crime. In the end, the only person without one was Ketchy. Nobody else could have murdered Oda. Guess we've got two choices. Either we find Ketchy an alibi or find a flaw in the other ones. Ask about witness statements. Tell me about witness statements. How do you witness you achieve a Ketchy fleeing the scene just after the crime? I heard about that. The waiter. Uh, Masura Kinoshita, he gave a statement saying he saw Akechi. If it was me, I'd probably think Yuichi did too. I wonder how I can refute Kinoshita's statement. Scene. About the motive. Yuichi Akechi had plenty of motive to kill the victim Oda. You mean because Oda was sleeping with Yuichi's girlfriend, Sawaka Usami? Cool. 
Bingo, and we didn't find anyone else who might have had reason to kill Oda. So they didn't find anybody else, huh? But what if someone did else did have a reason to kill Oda? Yeah, I mean, it. there wasn't any statement of it being like... Because that, that is my brain, right? Just because they were in, like, awkward positioning, right? Oda might have been, like, raping her, his girlfriend instead of the other way, like, that it was consensual, right? And seeing as they both were struggling, because nobody, like, this is my, this is my thing, right? After Oda died, when they found Oda's body, where was the girl? Where was she? Because only Yuichi was fleeing, and she was suddenly not there anymore. What if she smacked him on the head instead of, o uh, instead of Yuichi? And Yuichi ran afterwards. But, you know, we'll see that, like, once we get through this quest at some point. Let's see what to ask about. About fingerprints. The deciding factor in Akichi's arrest was his fingerprints. We took and compared fingerprints from each employee, those who found on the murder weapon, but the only ones that matched were Akechi's. We concluded that the other prints came from cafe customers, so... And so were unrelated. Okay, so he did use that weapon. Bill of conclusive evidence, was Akechi really the only person involved who had fingerprints on the murder weapon? There you go, solid evidence. But if you think we made a mistake, I'd sure I'd like to hear it. Hmm, not enough to go on right now. Guess I'd better take a closer look into everything that was going on at the time. <clears throat> Do you know what the cafe op staff from back then are doing nowadays? <clears throat> Can tell you that much, but I doubt you'll get anything new from them. Might know something too. Should ask him. Yeah, the florist knows everything. The florist is the florist. Uh, start with the most expensive one. Hmm, can I get another one? We need to clean out this place anyways. Kitty son, I think you've had enough to drink. I'd stop for our now if I were you. Okay, now I'm drunk as fuck. But if I do get, like, engaged in battle, I can use those specific moves. The drunken ones. And that is pretty much the only reason that I... <clears throat> ...went for alcohol. I usually don't ever go for alcohol. Um... Revelations. When drunk and running. And the other one, Drunken Thrust, while fighting stands while drunk, okay. Now I just need to find some guys to fight. Wouldn't it be funny if now I don't run into anyone to fight for these drunken moves while I'm drunk? I just need to get my... Uh... Heat up. We bam. Oh yeah, I need to drink another one because we don't want to just up it. I'm too lazy for that shit. Ooh. Okay. That does that. Good to know that the alcohol uh, drinks can easily be done if I just bring a shit ton of uh, hangover pills. Let's clean those out.
Big Boy LOE. How much damage did I take? More than enough for one mule. <laughs> uh, this place has a pretty large fucking... <clears throat> food thing. this old man. I'll talk to the old man in a bit. Your D! ASQ. How you doing? Should I ask what you doing? How you feeling? Don't rest. I think I'll be fine. I can bring either uh, Rikia or Haruka. Rikia doesn't have any like upgrades, I think. Uh. But Haruka does. But I'm gonna do Haruka like once we are done with the side quests and all the key keys. Can just afford to pay those costly renovations. Say there, you ever heard of a construction company called the Ashimoto Renovations around these parts? Never heard of them. Hmm. Their address should be right around here, but I just can't figure it out. Ashimoto Renovations. Ashimoto Renovations. Eh, eh, and eh. That sucks. That sucks, SQ. The guy who was with that reporter, what do you want? He told me about the case. I'm helping him look for information, try to prove your brother's innocence, huh? What are you talking about? Feels responsible, so we're looking for a way to help your brother. Really? You're too late, my brother's been in prison for six years. Do you think you can just waltz up to me and pretend you to care? Just leave me alone. Oh, oh yeah, that's what that was her. Completely forgot about that. Let's punch this uh, bald guy in the face. Is it a good ad or a bad ad? We'll never know. Wait, there's a difference? Secrets. <clears throat> so, uh, SQ, which one did you pick? Did you go for uh, Neo or for Final Fantasy VII DLC? I mean, you're you currently are playing Neo yourself, so that probably wouldn't be that big of a deal. You haven't actually seen anything of the other one, I think, right? So that might be the one that's more interesting to you. Wrong way. FF7. I honestly don't... I 
personally want to play either Skyward Sword. Uh, Scarlet Nexus. Because it's not on the PlayStation and it's the only one that I can, like, don't have to complete afterwards while I'm working on Yakuza 3. Welcome, we've got some great Maguro in today. You should definitely try it. Come here to eat. I heard you're one of old man Komaki's pupils from here. So you're Kazuma Kiryu. The monster told me about you. I've been waiting for you to show up. Why don't we step outside? Okay, be there in a minute. There should be good enough. Right then, let's get started. Why did you quit Komagi's Jojo? I came to train in Tokyo Sushi in a Tokyo Sushi restaurant to help my father get out of debt. But you know how things can be in a city like this. You have to do whatever you can to survive. In the end, my hands were most often used to hurt people, not to make delicious sushi. I heard about Komagi's style, fighting style at a gambling hall. The moment I did, I forgot all about my training as a sushi chef. But when I met the owner of the place I'm working at now, I remembered how I used to feel about everything about sushi. I want to make the best sushi in the world and help my father keep his restaurant afloat. That's why I quit Master Komaki's dojo. I see. Still, I like that dojo. I knew I could get stronger there. I've always wanted to be strong. Alright, thank you to you, son. Let's see how my Komaki training fares against a real opponent. Are you ready? Are you ready, son? Komaki's training. Nice. I want to say not bad, but he only deflected one hit. <laughs> you win. You're as strong as I thought you were. Quite the impressive fighter yourself. He was only lying on the floor, Kiryu. You don't lie to the man. <laughs> Hearing that from you makes the sting of defeat a little less painful. Because my training didn't go to waste after all. You don't need your fists anymore. Your sushi should be enough to protect your father's restaurant. You'll be alright. <laughs> Thanks. You've got away with wars, you know. A little better now, thank you. I guess I better get back to work. If you'll excuse me. Excuse me. I am deraged of memories of one of the Komaki techniques I used to know. Can now use the Komaki knockback. Guards as the enemy attacks and immediately press triangle to parry the attack. Well, better find the next pupil. No, good that that guy is pretty close by. Eh? Smiley burger. Smile. Welcome. What can I get you today? Actually, I'm not a customer. Are you one of Old Man Kamaki's pupils? Huh? Wait, are you Kazuma Kiyu? The master told me about you. You need to fight me to remember what you learned before, is that right? I may be working in a fast food restaurant now, but there was a time when I thought I could be the very best. So you're the Dragon of Dojima. The ma even the Master recognizes your legendary skill. Love to get the chance to see if my Komaki techniques can stand up to you. Let's take it outside. Boss, I'm taking my break now. Hey, hold on, dang it. Here should work. I'm not gonna hold back. Let's do this. Uh, this one was the tiger drop. Oh, that's my favorite move to spam on anyone! The tiger drop! See, I knew I should have done this side quest. That's gonna make everything ten times easier. Can't believe it, the master was right about you. You won fair and square. Thought I had studied the Kamaki style longer than almost anyone. But I now I know now that I've still got a lot to learn. Looks like I'd forgotten what it's like to be in a real fight. <laughs> that was a good old workout though. Thanks for that. Fighting you has really gotten my blood pumping. It makes me want to come out of retirement. I'm sure you could go right back into training if you wanted to. Thank you for everything. Oops. I better get back inside. My boss 
is going to be pissed. But feel free to come back to visit as a customer next time. I will. Good luck. Hold R1 to go into fighting stance, then press the enemy attacks to unleash. I wonder if that one is still as broken as before. Probably not, but it could be of great use to me. Uh, no, not to go. Uh, don't order anything. I want to eat here. King Smile Burger. Full HP, can't eat anymore. Uh, let's see, anything else on... nope. Next stop. Oh, hey, kitty son. This isn't very good, but just listen for a sec. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. Nothing has changed here yet. Maybe I need to do something with Haruka there. Okay, let's test out the new punch. Yeah, boy! Oh, yeah! Okay, that was too soon. This makes everything ten times better. Like, I just, I just, la I knew it. I knew I just lacked a few abilities to make this game feel a lot better for fighting. I knew I was lacking something in it. And it was, apparently it was just the Komaki shenanigans. Can't believe it was that. I had so much issue throughout this game, just with the fights purely. Still need to fix my timing though, but that's that's definitely gonna like help out at some point. Come on, Chubby. Here. Yeah, that makes everything ten times better. The amount of relief, mate. The amount of relief. Um... He said south of the batting center, right? At some kind of club. Shifuku Street, just south of Betting Center. He will be Komaki Perry. On Shifuku Street. Is it here? In Jewel? Welcome, sir. Will you be enjoying our club? No, sorry. Guess I'll have to run across the street for a bit. Figure out where he actually is. There's a legendary tattoo artist here in Kamarucho. They say he's the one... Called... The building's called Divine Dragon. I remember seeing it just off back alley in Divine Dragon. 
Oh yeah, we can actually do a Rikias uh, thing as well. Now that that is like actually unlocked. I might actually do Rikia shit in a sec. Or, well, in a sec later. You gotta relax, man. Lucky for you, we got a special today. 5,000 yen for all you can drink. On top of that, you can pick any babe you want. How about it? Sure, lead the way. Gonna love it, my man. This way. Oh, you can drink. It's a trap! This doesn't look much like a club. Ha! Huh. It's cause it isn't Sherlock. You look like you had cash, so I had brought you here to dance. Just couldn't resist my sales pitch, huh? Now you're gonna pay up. I don't think this guy uh, knows who uh, he's up against. Just wait until I use my relearned tiger drop on your face. Oh, you're a knife thrower. Okay. I don't think I can use my uh, special technique on that. <laughs> uh, I'm really, really sorry. Here's some free advice. Before you go pick the fights, make sure you know what you're up against. Y yes, sir. I'll remember that. I promise. Please take this. I I it's all I got, really. <laughs> Thanks. Asshole. Uh, all the way back here now, though. I haven't actually found the guy that we were looking for. Muda, 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 muda. Bruda. Kuda, kuda. Hmm. Why is the last one so annoying to find? Listen here, you old shit stick! Timing was off. One, someone attack me. You know what? Actually, no, never mind. I'm not gonna wait for you guys to attack. I'm just gonna pummel you. It's not worth waiting because I don't plan to play it. Yeah, it makes sense. That makes sense, SQ. Dame yo, dame, dame yo. Dame, dame. Dummy da, dummy, dummy day. Tsugi, tsugi. Ooh, nice, 20k. Don't mind if I do, sir. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. Oh, you're just gonna wanna beat my ass. <clears throat> well, I don't like that kind of behavior. How about I'll beat yo ass? Kamarucho key number eight. Shine bright like a diamond. I'm good, actually. Girls! 
We run this motherfucker. But I'm not a girl. I can't sing this song. I'm not loud. Rude. <clears throat> not this guy again. Talking about Yuffie DLC. Did you just get a ribbon, SQ? Lucky you. Lucky you. Where the fuck is the last guy? Um, oh, there he is. How the fuck did he get behind the cr the groups? Oh, it's not necessarily behind the groups. Just on a different section. Ow. <sighs> okay, where the fuck is this... Guy that I'm supposed to be talking to. No. No. It's fine though. These guys all die a lot easier than the ones in the story did. I can't find the last guy. At some club in on Shifuku Street. This is West Shifuku. Who run this motherfucker? Girls! That's what you get for game shaming me. When did I game shame you? I don't remember game shaming you. I don't remember. Where the fuck is this guy? That's not game shaming. That's not me game shaming. 
That's just teasing. Because I don't actually think you're slow at gaming and weak. Everyone plays games at their own pace, says Q. Oh, this guy. He's the Barker. Maskamaki told me all about you. He wants you to fight his former pupil so he can remember his moves. Thought you in the past, right? If a man wants to be popular with Lim and Kamarucho, what is the one thing he needs? Advice from me? You see, Kiryu, son. I've seen a lot of people in my time here, and I've determined that strength isn't the only thing you need to be drowning in women. You have to be swimming in cash! Pretty strong. It's time for me to work on something else. Strength isn't everything, eh? Sniff, sniff, okay. If I make a if I make a silly joke about you, SQ, I never mean it in any offense. I don't want to hurt you with that. <laughs> so don't worry about it. Truthfully. Oh nice, that parry. Oh, I forgot that one. I never use the dough, it's not as useful as, like, the tiger drill. Good. Back to the dojo. Dojo! Dojo. Oh, if it isn't my dearest pupil, I urge you to defeat all three of my former pupils. I knew you could do it. Seems your skills are not as rusty as one, as I once thought. I suppose. They all put up a good, pretty good fight, though. It definitely helped me remember all the techniques you taught me in the past. Excellent! Once you learn the technique, it stays with you, even when you think you have completely forgotten it. Yeah. Looks like I've got it all back now. Thanks for the help, old man. Now that I've got the old techniques back, can I start learning some new ones? Not so fast. The people you defeated are skilled fighters indeed, but they are former pupils, not current ones. I believe you still have more to remember, yes? Yeah, you might be right. Swarm pupils of yours were tough, but if I could spar against someone tougher, I might remember even more old techniques. Very well then. Would you like to try facing an active Komaki Master? No, 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 no. You will be facing my top pupil. I can vouch for his strength. You may be able to be you may not be able to beat him, really? Well it's not like I'm completely out of practice. We'll see how tough this guy is. Alright, let's do this. Guess I'm the final boss for you, huh, Kiryu son? I do train for hours every single day. Think you'll find me a difficult opponent to beat? Waiting for the time your game pool has FFX and FFX2 on it. I don't think they're ever gonna be on that pool. SQ, if I'm completely honest. FFX2 maybe, but I really don't feel like replaying FFX. And that's because I went through so much suffering trying to 100% it. You win. You did well. If I hadn't been paying attention, you might have laid me out on the floor. 
Erho is thinking I was the best of Master Kamaki students. I'll train hard, so next time we face each other, I'll come out on top. I'd be happy to fight you again. Give you another chance to test your skills. Well done. I do believe Kamaki's technique, your Kamaki techniques have once again been home to perfection. Practicing all these old techniques makes me want to train with you again. Maybe you can teach me some new moves next time, old man. Oh, well, feel free to come back whenever you like. I am I very much enjoy watching you grow stronger, my dearest pupil. Dearest disciple. But if FFX and FFX2 are together in a poll, then oh my god, I'll not know what to vote for. It's 100% FX, FFX2 needed. Yeah, maybe at some point it's 100% FFX2. Well, I'm glad I can at least provide you with some entertainment, and if it keeps you from going senile, it's well Holy. worth the pain. Hey, now. I'm still young, you know. Show your mask some respect. Sorry to ruffle your feathers, old man. See you later. Ew. It's my favorite pupil. Learn a new move. Certainly do possess an impressive amount of strength. Now, what technique would be appropriate for a man like you? Hmm. Got it. There are three secret techniques that have been passed down from master to pupil for centuries. I can think of no more fitting for you, my dear pupil. How I wish I could teach them to you now. No, you can't. Why not? Teaching the techniques themselves no problem. I know them like the back of my own hand. The problem lies in the tradition of teaching these techniques. The secret tome that describes these techniques is missing, and it must be passed on to whomever learns them. How did you manage to lose something that important? A homeless man ran off with it during the confusion of moving all of materials into the Dragon Palace. We were all preoccupied. We didn't realize that we had that uh, what had happened until it was too late. You can find the book and bring it to me. I can teach you those secret techniques and learn errant to add to the pile, I suppose. It's not an errant, it is part of your training! All right, all right. Where can I find this homeless man? Hmm, his name is Kamekichi, from what I hear. Spends a lot of time in the, in the park. There are several parks to come with you, so you need to take a look around. Children's Park. That is uh, a long time, SQ. 13 years? Jesus Christ. Uh, that is the last revelation. Essence of rolling. Let's do that one first. Need to go into that direction anyways. Oh, you managed to do it, so that's good. Did you uh, use any guides by chance, uh, SQ, or did you figure everything out on your own? I think it's these guys, right? Yeah. Actually, have a look if there are any... Sega. You find it kind of funny that Sega is using their older games to put into these games. As mini games. Knock it out at the park! Alright, Koi. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> In the nuts. Uh, essence of rolling. <laughs> that was pathetic. You're hilarious. Hit him low, then hit him high. <laughs> God damn it. 
Uh, nope, no guys. That is impressive, SQ. There's no reason- that's the reason that it took you so long to actually beat it. Nice. But it was actually just a guy getting hit in the crotch by a stray ball, and while any man can understand how painful it is, girls seem to find it hilarious. At least the poor guy helps me think of a technique that'll <laughs> really hit where it hurts. <laughs> oh, the essence of rolling. Good lord. Relations as a while doing a Komaki Daruma tumble. Oh nice. It's not too hard to make work. Revelation list complete. Karu Sayama. I just heard the good news from my friend Bob Utsu Utsunomiya. Congratulations, Kazuma. You've completed all revelations, and I must say, the blog you create is very entertaining. Anyway, I have a gift for you. Bob Utsunomiya is holding on to it for you. So go find him when you want to pick it up. He's somewhere around town. Don't worry, if you lose it, you can get it from him again. Ooh, what is this gift? Is that worth going all the way down first? Probably not. Ugh. Dude sitting on the trash can. Hey, you. Hmm, who are you? What do you want from me? Are you Kamikichi? Nah, buddy. You've got the wrong guy. I'm no Kamikichi, hick. The real Kamikichi was here until just a while ago. Let's see, where did he say he go to? Oh, that's right. He got himself some money, so he said he was heading to the gambling hall. He must be talking to Dragon Palace then. Who the fuck are... I heard two twins sitting next to each other. Because it's funny. Boom in the nuts. Boom. Toilet. Give me a sec, guys. Gear me.
Yo, she, yo, she. Sep with 37 months. Jesus, time flies by, dude. Uh, I love Final Fantasy X. I can play it over and over, but I never tried Chocobo Racing and I miss or missing Thunderbolts. But I got all the eons, defeated Ultima and Omega, and recently I got into Blitzball. Nice. Yeah, I can't stand... If I can't do the freaking uh, lightning or the chocobo racing, I just... Like, I just get mad. I just find it kind of a waste of my time if I can't do them. But that's just my completionist OCD. Gambling Hall. Hey, are you Kamkichi? The hell do you want? Can't you see I'm on a losing streak? I just want to be left alone. You took a book from Master Ko Komaki's dojo, didn't you? I'm here to get back. What? Book? Oh, you mean the dirty old thing? Sold to Ebisu Pond to get me some gambling money. They didn't give me much for it, though. And the money's long gone. He sold it. I better get over there before someone else buys it. Buys it. He bays it! Uh, no, there's a nice side quest on the way there, so might as well fix that. We can also go do some more food thingies while I'm still low on HP. Do 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 do. Seppi, what did you have for dinner, bro? SQ, what did you have for dinner? And don't tell me you ate just ate something like chocolate, because then uh, I'm gonna be mad. I had a soup. Just a soup? Welcome, what would you like? Don't really care about the facts. Here's your bill, sir. Beetroot soup. So far, yeah. Seppi is a big boy, but he doesn't eat too much. As long as you eat enough, though. Because you're a big boy and you exercise and such, so you do need to eat enough to actually build muscles and such instead of break your body down. The only that only breaking your body down. Ha hey, Jesus Christ, English hard. Has anyone ever told you that English is hard? Well, here you go. It's hard. Spade a uh, grab there. Punch me. Ha! Sep, we got the tiger drop again, so we can deal insane damage. I wanted beetroot that my mom said, shut up and eat proper food. <laughs> what the fuck is that, SQ? I can't carry any more stuff. Every single time, man. Indian food. These fuckheads never give up, do they?
beetroot is vegetable. I know. That's why I don't eat it. You can have your dirty vegetables all to yourself. Fuck she. It's the end of the line, single file, please. End of the line. The problem lies in your former life. The same is true of your father. He complains of pain in his legs, does he not? Yeah, he said something recently about being it being hard to walk, a fortune teller. You want me to read your fortune? If so, please get in line. Everybody must wait their turn after all. Bye. -bye. Your face, its features are fantastic. Come here for a moment. How about I give you a special reading? Learn your destiny. Sure, I'll give it a try. Ha, ah, wise decision. Sometimes you must make quick decisions because you... Oh. <laughs> Twitter. Fire Goku. Little Pony. Ice Cream. Bahana Blue. Mom-in-law. <laughs> Gilgamesh. Omi, Logos, and LeBlanc. What are... What are these names, SQ? Sorry, but I have to stop here. I'll finish the rest of your reading after I read his fortune. Well, you better. Now, could I have your name? Just write it on this piece of paper. That's my kid you. This is the name of a hero. You have the wisdom and the resource to be a great victor. But your name foretells a tempest a tempestuous future. Oh. I can't read a man like you just from your name. I need your physiognomy and palm readings. I should probably look into your past life too. Usually charge 150 yen for this, but an interesting man like you, I could only 120. Sure, why not? Aeons, I'm so awesome. <laughs> They're funny names for sure. Let's see, first let's start with your palm. See, now you are a hero, but as a hero you must never forget there are many people supporting you. Got it. Also, I also see you are being fooled by someone you trust. It's better to continue being fooled. You'll be happier that way. You must not be let suspicious take over your heart. Well then, come back whenever you feel lost. I'll shine light on the path to your future. Well, that was... just weird. Excuse me, did you have your fortune read by that fortune teller? And now my brother wants to disown me. Well, your brother can, uh, suck ass or something. Some people in the arcade on Nakamichi Street complained about getting cheated out of their money by that fortune teller. Is that so? I don't know all the details, but they said something about her charging a lot of money and then spouting, some, uh, spouting off some generic babble. They're probably still there. Why don't you try going to the arcade on Nakamichi Street and talking to them yourself? Okay. I'm here to buy an armed Gion style tome. Hi, I do. I got the book. I better go back to Komaki. Said I ruined the names. <laughs> aye, aye. Your brother should just let live and let live, man. People need to have some fun. What's up with the fortune? There's no way it's right. My friend said she was good too. What is this about for about this? Uh, what is this about a fortune teller? It's outrageous. I should go give her a piece of my mind. She said she'd give me a special reading that tricked me out of 150 k yen. Can't believe I paid 30. 
30,000 yen for that. Do you know what I could buy with 30,000 yen? I'm going to get my money back. We must have gone to the same fortune teller. What did she get you to? Really ought to all go and complain to her together. First, until I tell her what I think. Sounds good. Okay, so we're going back, I guess. I think I'm going back. It's freaking funny. Yeah, I agree. Sort of, at least. All right, now, one at a time, I put your wages in here. And then I want you all back next time we do this. So easy, we get money just by lining up. Call me whenever you need help. I will. In fact, we might have TV station filming out here next week. Definitely call on all of you then. Okay, I'll make sure to say how good you are. Thanks to all of you have found a mark willing to pay 120 yen, so I've given each of you a bonus of 1,000 yen. Alright, what's going on here? Oh, it's you. What's with all these people? What's it to you? You seem pleased with your fortune, if I recall correctly. I'm not asking you to give me my money back. I just want you to stop paying people to make it look like you're, you have satisfied customers. Do you have a problem with the way I do things? Keep talking like that and I'll introduce you to my charming sons. You should know that my boys aren't like the puny wives you normally deal with. Oh boys, would you come here for a moment? This man wants to talk to you. What is it, Mom? Is this man accusing you of something? Yes, give this man a scolding, please. You named Titus T... <laughs> TT. <laughs> TT. And I said, yeah, and I wish I could name Orin Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to read your fortune now? Why, I predict a very unpleasant experience in your f near future. Okay, let's punch these guys in the dickwad. It's taking too long for them to attack, so I'm just gonna, well, hurt them. I hope your mom told you that the oldest son always has the worst time. Ugh, ow. Looks like your fortune was wrong again. Come on, this is how the world works. You make a little line of customers in front of your store and make it look popular. Soon people will start talking about it. Then you just wait for idiots like you to show up and take their cash. That's pathetic. But as far as fortune telling goes, I'm not a fraud. I used to be a famous fortune teller was right about you, wasn't I? I told you you were being fooled by someone. That person was me. <laughs> no funny, huh? Anyway, I've lost my flair for fortune telling lately, which is why I've been running this little gig. But you made me realize this is a good time for me to retire. The world doesn't need fortune tellers who can't read fortunes. It's good to know when to stop. You base your business on deception, but your fortunes themselves weren't half bad. A man who recognized quality. The moment I saw your face, everything just came together. I felt that old energy I used to feel. But I'm tired of all this. I'm going to live the rest of my days peacefully with my sons. Please just forget I was ever here. Don't tell anyone you saw me. Got it. I can keep a secret. Where's that fortune teller? I know I heard that voice of hers. There you are. How'd it go? Did you find her? Actually... I'll pretend nothing happened. Couldn't find her. I don't think she's hanging around here anymore. Mm. I swear I heard her voice just now, though. Let's try over there. I'm getting my 30k yen back. You hear?
Do you just help us get away? Ooh, me? You're a good man. I'm confident something good will happen to you. Well then, goodbye for real this time. Let me thank you by giving you this crystal ball. Kudis to the ball! Okay, let's do this side quest over here. Date? What are you doing here, snooping around? Hmm, that's some. What are you doing here? Oh, kid you. I'm uh, just here on errand. Errand? What happened to watching Haruka? Oh, I told her I was going shopping. She's over at Serena's right now. We really should be heading back. Well, are you going inside or not? Just staring at the window won't help. Ah, uh, no, I was just window shopping, that's all. You sure about that? Looks to me like you came here to buy someone a gift. Well, yeah, but I don't really know what to get. This is for, I swear, not to laugh. Yeah, it's for Mama, you know, the owner of Serena. Ah, I do have a thing for her. I was right after all. What do you mean you were right? How about you get right out of my business? <laughs> I could, but I find that your business with Mama is way more interesting. <sighs> You're really gonna, uh, gonna buy her a present? I get it. That would be... That why would a beautiful young woman go out with a lonely old fart like me, right? <laughs> that there. I was just pulling your leg. You know I stand behind you. Yeah, stand behind me while I crash and burn. But at least I got that off my chest. Now let's just get this over with. I've got to ask that this on. How did you find out Mama's ring size? <laughs> Another trick of the trade. I told Mama I was getting a ring for my daughter. Just slipped a question in there. She never suspected a thing. Saya-chan must be a young adult now, but date -san, I never knew you were such a sly devil. Ha, <laughs> well, you have to be if you want to live to be my age. I'm sure you gained a lot of wisdom from your previous marriage too. By the way, was it you who helped Mama get settled in Serna? Yeah. After what happened to Reina, no one would rent the property. People thought some kind of curse hung over the place. And Mama didn't mind that, not one bit. The price has gone so cheap she was practically begging me for the details, I see. I gotta say, I've never seen a lady with uh, with that much spunk. She'd probably do well, no matter where she set up shop. Is that what you like about her? Maybe so. Did Mama really accept a ring from Date-san? I guess I'll find out once we we're back at Serena. Oh, really? Do I have to go with them? I didn't want to go with them. Kitty. Can I actually go buy some sushi right now? Yeah. Sushi. Right this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, Jesus, this keeps going. Oh. Ah, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Press the wrong thing again. Annoying that she's still annoying that I can only buy one thing at a time. How many people dressed like me have you seen turning around? Anyway, I have present for you. Send her some lady named Sayama. Sacrifice stone. Useless. Don't go losing it either, but if you do, I guess I could find it in my heart to hook you up with another one. And she's standing over by Tenkaichi Street Gate, something like two years back. Nope, don't know what you're talking about. Extra mode items. Warrior. Toughness Emperor is a nice one. A black shaft.
can say any of that. He just keeps giving me more shit. I don't mind, honestly, but... Fight lighter. All this children amulet. It's just I just keep getting free stuff from him. Oh, we're already at Serena's. New Serena. Is that right? You've been aboard this whole time. Yeah, somewhere real far. I only came back to Kamarucha because, well, let's just say I want to pay a special visit to a special someone. Hello, boys. Nice of you to show up. If you're looking for Haruka chan she's in the back. He's a new customer. Haven't seen him around before. Yes, he's been overseas. Apparently, there's someone in Kamarucha he came to visit. Is everything all right? Oh, uh, I was wondering if I could speak with you a moment. So formal, all of a sudden. No customer. I'll take a check, Mama. Sure, hon. Thanks for stopping by. See you around. Do I know you? Oh, what is that? Mama. これ受け取ってほしいんだ。ま、ママ。もう伊達さんって冗談ばっかり。これさやちゃんに渡す指輪でしょ。いや、違うんだ。これはママに本気なの? うん。あ。本当 I feel like this is gonna burn. Mama. Orazto. Detete. Should go. Kaite kuru. And I mean it right now. I decided to close up shop for today. Yo, so no. No. Date sa. Koko ma de o sewa ni natte ite moshi wake nai kedo. Nido to o mise ni konai de. Eh. Will that hurt? I want to see her again. Deserve that. Fs. Don't worry, Date. Probably nothing you did. Probably call him night. I'll see if I can talk to her for you. Thanks, Kiri. Oh, you won. <sighs> Are we really going in there again to talk to her? Oops, sorry. Guess we're gonna go back in. And that's a bit too harsh. Kitty son. Did I ever tell you I was what married once? No. It was a long time ago. It means you're divorced? No. That's not what happened at all. My husband, he died. He was a police officer, you know? Really. So was too, right? A detective? Yeah. I suppose I should fill you in. One day I was. Let's just say I was in the wrong place at the wrong time and a robber took me hostage. How did you make it out? It was my husband. He sacrificed his life for me. I know that the son left the forest to be a journalist, but there's just something about him that makes me think of my husband. It's too much for me to handle. Maybe they might be similar in some way, but that is on his own man. Even so, I can't erase that horrible memory. Every time I think about that son as a detective, I imagine of what happened that day flashbacks come to my mind. I just can't block them out. That's why I can't see him. Please tell him I'm sorry. Oh, this is very sad. Maybe I should get in touch with that son. He's probably somewhere in the area. Go look around for him. Yo, 
What I just realized, that guy that walked out, right? Looked a fucking shit ton like that robber that took her as a hostage. Just like the hairstyle and the eyes. It's just peculiar because like they usually don't bring out the eyes of random characters in the game. So there must have been a reason why he was suddenly there. This is why the side stories of the Yakuza games are so much fun. You never know what the kind of shit is, what kind of shit they're just gonna suddenly throw at you. I paid a little bit more attention, I could definitely, like, tiger drop that guy's ass. Like that. Okay, you win. Uh... Listen, okay, I always win. Oh, cutie, how did it go with Mama? Well, it's kind of a tough situation. Her last husband was a cop. She said he died in line of duty trying to save her. She got held hostage. She also said that being with someone who came out of the force reminds her of that awful day. She still got him on her mind, huh? Wait, you knew she was married? Yeah, her husband, Kisuke, was a cop under my jurisdiction. We crossed paths during a particular dangerous ca case. We were going after a serial armed robber by the name of Tsukishima. Guy was a real scumbag. See, I knew it! We tracked him down, Keisuke managed to corner Tsukishima. But then Mama walked by and the thug took her hostage, held his gun right up to her temple. We got the okay to shoot Tsukishima, but Keisuke was too afraid he'd hit his wife. So he hesitated. And it cost him his life. Yep, Tsukishima took the opportunity to sh shoot first, and that was it. Kisuke went down. It was over in a blink of an eye. He did everything he could to protect Mama without pulling the trigger. Maybe that was all he could do, given the circumstances. If Kisuke had shot, there was no guarantee he wouldn't hit his wife. And even if he could hit Tsukishima, he'd have to end it in one bullet. Otherwise, Mama would have paid the price. That's a decision no one should have to make. I never could see Keisuke taking another man's life. He always saw the best in even the worst of people. But his kindness ended up doing him in. What happened to Tsukishima? The moment he shot Keisuke, the squad moved in to take him down. Long story short, Tsukishima got sent to the pen and Mama, she survived, but she lost her other half. I've always felt responsible since the killer was under my jurisdiction, so I've been looking after Mama ever since. I think I understand. Closing the door on you was her way of closing the door to those painful memories, losing someone she loved. Maybe that can be fixed. Dati san, does she know you were in charge of the case? No. I'd like to keep it that way. I think Kisuke just happened to be at the scene. See. Anyway, only thing I could do for Mama was to set her up at Serena. Show my face there every day. That was something like nine years ago. At first I looked after her out of a sense of duty to a fallen comrade, but sooner or later I fell for her. Sound like you two had quite a history already. Oh, wait a sec. What's wrong? That guy, I knew I've seen him before. That's him! Kiryu, that's Tsukishima. What? The man who was talking to Mama at the counter, he's the one who shot Kisuke. Are you sure about that? 100%. He might have looked a little bit different than he used to. We'll never forget the eyes. See, I told you. Why would he be at Serena then? You don't think... Datesan! Is he really the same person who murdered Mama's husband? If so, I can't just leave them alone in Serena. Yeah, no shit. Especially uh, seeing as Date doesn't own a gun anymore. I think, at least. Is it legal to have a gun in Japan? Of your own? Mama's not here, where is she? Uncle Kaz, a man just came in here and took Mama away. What? Are you sure? Yes, and Dante went after him. I can stay right here until I come back, okay? Okay, don't hurt yourself, Uncle Cass. Hey, uh, you can walk a little bit faster, buddy. 
with your filthy hands of mama. So you finally remembered, eh? You have any idea how hard it was to track your retired ass down? Really was price, you know. I go looking for the bar where you hang out, and who do I find the same woman I took hostage all those years ago? I figured I'd have some fun with the girl that got away whilst we settled our score. I'll draw his attention, you finish the job. Right where you are. I've got a couple of friends I'd like you to meet. Seriously? Take care of these two, just make sure you leave Date alive. I want to save her his final moments in agony. What do you plan to do with Mama? Ah, that's right. What to do with the lady? Oh, I have a, a thought. Why don't I be a gentleman and take her some special? I guarantee it'll be bring back memories. What? So long, Date. We'll be waiting. That is, if you make it out of one piece. You go after Tsukishima, I'll clean up here. Alright then, I'm not playing around, so if you don't want to get hurt, this is your last chance to back down. I can't believe this, man. What a fucking twist. Even though I fucking knew it already. Like, my brain was like, oh, there has to be a reason. Oh, shit. Oh. Like, what do I tell you? Fucking predicting shit, like always. Went down easier than swanning flies. Now to go help that this on. Happened? Are you hurt? Damn it! That bass slipped away from me, and he still got the mama with him. Is she going somewhere? He would bring back memories. Could that be? Yeah, probably went where he shot Keisuke. Did it happen? I'll get mama back. Don't be stupid, Kiryu. This is my problem, so I need to be solved. You shouldn't get involved. That this on. Sorry, Kiryu, but I need to take care of this one alone. If I don't, I'll never have peace of mind. Not about Kisuke and not about the woman I love. It's a bad idea. Get yourself killed. We're gonna follow him, right? Where did that son of mine now? Where would they have gone? It's probably a building somewhere. A serial robber, right? Sub stories, sub stories. That they pride. But this is gonna be one of these moments where I'm like, gotta figure out where he is. Special place. It looked like he was on top of a building somewhere. Should I go into. Serena to figure out where it is. Probably can find it there somewhere. I bet she'd still have like a newspaper clipping about the accident, right? Gotta come quick. What happened? I saw Date follow a guy in Serena and Mama into some shady building. And then the big group of thugs went right after. Got a bad feeling about this. Which building where? The one at N Nakamichi Alley. Damn, Date-san told me to stay out of this, but it's too dangerous for him to go by himself. There's no time to explain. If you want to find out, you'll have to come along. Nakamichi Street. you fall in love I would already have you would under my arms uh this is not the place <laughs> oh. 
the other side. Pink Street. Yeah, I think it's on the other side on around here. Shouldn't have seen this coming, but you just had to play the hero, didn't you? No, if you're here to settle the score with me, right? So leave her out of this. You gotta think for her, Date. Ha! I knew it from the moment you walked into that bar. Damn you. Resort to taking hostage and running like a coward. People won't let you make me sick, Kitty. Sorry, but I couldn't just leave you hanging. Still can't do anything by yourself, can you? Come on, Date. Let's dance. The rest of you, take out that fool over there. You'll regret this. <笑>気に食うだな。全く同じ状況だ。しかも今回は相手があの警官の女王氏と来ている。え。あの時は俺もミスったが、今回は間違わない。順番つけてきっちりぶっ殺す。一番目は月島。俺はあの警官とは違う。何？聞いてくれ、ママ。死んだ男のことを悪く言うのは嫌だが、ケスケは間違ってる。本当に大事なものがあるのだ。すべてのことから逃げずに戦って、戦い抜い
Give me a break. Besides, who invited you here, anyway? And why are you flapping your gums like you even know half of it? Well, it's obvious something was up with you, so I simply followed along. We journalists are always on the lookout for the latest and greatest. You should know that by now. You, you didn't spoil the beans to the schmuck, did you? Who knows? That to send, aren't you a journalist yourself? It's fine that you're proud to have been detective, but show some spirit of your current job too. You'll be much happier person. Great, now I'm getting being lectured by this character. You know what? I'm done. It's time to go drinking. You guys come to what? Whoa, 20k experience points? I won't say no to that. Uh, but what are we going for? Komaki Firearm Flip. I think that's the one we're gonna go for. Can be executed when injured. Okay, time to go to Komaki. Doko, doko da. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes, cause I can't keep up, cause I can't keep my clothes on. See if there's anything to. No, oh, I can't go back in. Sad face. The dojo. The dojo it is. Hey, I found that book you wanted. Here you go. Well done, my favorite pupil. I didn't expect you to be able to find it so quickly. Let's get right to it then. There are three skills to learn from this book. The techniques of heaven, earth, and men. Of particular note is the heaven technique, the most secretive of all, that a master must only convey upon his chosen pupil. For heaven, we must learn the man and earth techniques. First, let's begin with man. Sounds good. To use the man technique, your opponent must be armed with a bladed weapon, so I can only use it when someone's coming at me with a sword or something. Just so. If you are able to use it successfully, however, you may be able to turn the table on to your opponent. Try it on my people over here. Alright. I kid you, son. Please take it easy on me. Hajime yo! Gauge full, press triangle at the same time your opponent attacks with a sword. Nice. Tutorial complete. Astounding, yes, that was indeed a Komaki Swordless Rebirth. It's technique on the sword wielding opponent to quickly turn the tables on him. Swordless Rebirth. This could be pretty useful. You never know what kind of weapons guys are walking around with nowadays. I'd like to go on 
to the next technique, but perhaps you would like to rest while before. No, I can keep going. Of Earth to execute this technique, you must grab hold of your enemy, then drop him on his head from a height. But this technique won't do much damage without a proper object to land on. Try dropping them onto something around knee height for maximum effectiveness. To short object. Our limited options here in the dojo. Finding the best place to perform this technique is a critical part of the learning process. I tried against my pupil, as before. Are you ready? Hajime! Mm, that was probably a little bit too high. Oh yeah, that's better. <laughs> it's the perfect Komaki ball crusher. Few people can remain standing after taking a hard hit like that to the head. Handle even tougher enemies with this move in my repertoire. But what I thought you learned so fast. In any case, only one remains to have in technique. Perhaps you'd like to rest a bit before attempting? No, let's go. Shorty, let's go. It's called the Komeki Dragon King Essence. As I said before, this can only be passed from a master to his chosen pupil. As such, I've asked my pupils to leave us alone. Komaki Dragon King Essence must be performed after a Komaki Parry to render your opponent unconscious. That's a move you can perform just as the opponent throws a punch, right? I want you to practice using this move in combat for this last lesson. Ever as I said, I've asked my pupils to step out. <laughs> so I'll be facing you, huh? Precisely, your final opponent will be none other than me. But know that I am not going to hold back. You will not be able to beat me unless you come at me with all your might. Now let me see. Komaki's training. Boom! Shit too soon. Last one. Boom. Tutorial complete. Amazing, well done, my prized people. You executed the perfect Komaki Dragon King Essence. I did? Indeed. Why, it was just like looking into a mirror. You moved as fluidly as I did at your young age. That's quite a compliment, thank you. I've learned all of them. With this, you have learned all of the techniques in the book. I have nothing more to teach you, my dearest disciple. You will find a difficult to seek opponents who will truly challenge you now. But if you do, you must not lose. Remember this, my favorite student, as you are now the successor of the Komaki school. Or yeah, I won't. Thank you for everything, old man. It was my pleasure. Should probably get going. Thanks for your help. I spend most of my time here in the dojo. You may come see me anytime you feel like 
your skills need polishing. But of course, Kamarucho is a very small town. We may very well run into each other somewhere else. Who knows? Yay! We're done! Yatta! Uh... Let's go to... the underground real quick. That being said, let me check what the name is called of that substory that we need to do. Murder Cafe Alps. No, easy enough. Uh, substories. Okay. Sounds easy enough. Yeah, bastard! I saw you glad in at me. <laughs> Fuck no, mate. He just picked it up again. Or the other guy picked it up, I should say, actually. Should probably go buy something to eat down in the... Down here, before going to Purgatory. 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 Ra ra ra. Ra 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 ra. Let me show you to your seat. Getting thirsty. Kimichi combo. Are we really full though? My good friend. We're not full. Means we're going back in. Check it, please. Thank you Hey, you are Kiryu san? Is that really you? It's me, you know. Jeez, I haven't seen you in ages. Remember, I'm Minamizawa from the Mars Fighters. We got out of that mess together two years ago, right? <laughs> it was your mess to begin with. Hey, don't just shut me down. At least do it with a solid comeback, would you? Like, you two were the ones who messed with me. Get some wordplay in there. Well, you haven't changed much. Anyway, haven't, I've heard you've been missing for about half a year. Where'd you hear that? I ran into Kitagawa earlier. You got him worried. He's been looking for you. Hold on a sec, is that true? Yeah. Once Kitagawa heard Mina Mizawa was a Kamarucho, he dropped everything and came straight here. Hey. Mina Mizawa, buddy. You probably out of all the hat back, huh? Sounds like Kitagawa's worried sick about you. That's right, man. You don't... To have to be stubborn, just go find your friend, apologize, and get back to being a team. Get off my back. I'm I'm Mina Mizawa, the Mars fighter. Why should I apologize to my equal, my partner, just because we ain't a team anymore? Besides, now that I'm gone, Kitagawa, Kitagawa is doing better than ever. 
Even if we went back, there's no way our old agency would let us get back together. It'd just be dragging him down, man. It's clear Kitagawa, Kitagawa, and, uh, Kitagawa, Jesus. <laughs> Japanese names, man. Wants to do the Monsai with Mina Mizawa. Maybe I'll give him a call. Hey, hold it, Kiryu san. You're not gonna call Kitagawa, are you? So what I promised him, now that I found you, I have to let him know. I can't let you do that, man. I can't face him right now. Fine, if you're set on calling him, I guess I've got no choice. Sorry, Kiryu san, but it's time for a real punchline. He hasn't learned a thing from two years ago. Suspicious man. He's not very suspicious. He's, if anything, very weak. Hornless, hornless. And you guys help me. You seen this guy? He ain't some street thug. He'd only be stupid enough to pick a fight with a real beast, Mina Mizawa. Why do I even pay you guys? I uh, found Mina Mizawa. Around West Park. You'll see us when you get there. Uh, I'm gonna face Kitagawa now. There's nothing more worthless than a manzai comedy who can't manzai. Kitagawa knows exactly how you feel. What? Kitagawa's always wanted to do more manzai, just like you. He's been looking for you all this time. Kiryu-san, you gotta help me. Would you play the straight man to my funny man? After so long out of the game, my comedy's edge might have gotten rusty. I've gotta sharpen up. If I can't even hack a joke, I'll never be able to look Itagawa in the eye again. By me, I'm begging you, man. I don't want to run away anymore. I, 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 I'm gonna get back into comedy if it kills me. Please, you're my last chance to get my manzai groove back. It's this one's thanks a million. Here we go, give me something snappy, reactive. Know what I mean? I ever tell you I've been training a marathon across Japan? Uh, you gotta be kidding me. Nope, no good. Your heart's not in, buddy. You're too self-conscious. I don't know what you expected. I'm not an entertainer, you know. What the? What are you doing? Well, I... You told me I was the only straight man you'd ever need. Kitagawa, that's the only reason I've been on these stupid dramas and talk shows. I don't want anyone to forget about the Mars Fighters. All it took was a couple of blogs saying we can't improv or our reactions were too weak and you just ran off. I thought I, I, I thought you wanted to do the manzai with me and now you give up after one or two mocks heckle us. Kitagawa, I, I, I want to do manzai with you again. Would you be my partner just one more time? Stand up, Mina Mizawa. You'll always be my partner. True friends. And so did his friendship return to love. Their married couple style manzai routine gave birth to years of joyous laughter. Wait, why am I stuck getting married to you? Ah, crap! <laughs> Idiot son, this will be the second time you saved us. Thanks for everything. Hey, we make a pretty good team. Maybe we all uh, form a comedy trio. What do you say? Please, no. <laughs> well, I'll be back to the office. Time to convince my agent to let us get to the band back together. And take this. It's the least I can do. Mina Mizawa's autograph. Why the fuck would I need this? Why the fuck would I need that? Thanks, you son Watch out for us, because the Mars fighters are aiming for the stars. See you around. Well, that's more expensive. I'm seeing things. I'm seeing things again. I need to turn my lights on and I need to grab a drink. Oh. My legs feel stiff like a plank.
You already be a sleepy boy. Oops. I can't tell you can go in there. Whoa. Inserted T X Tiger, the house of extras. Location where someone from your world may exist in this one. What exactly can I do here? I can offer you special game modes you'll only find here. They are as follows. Yeah, we're not going to do that. I, you just sold random shit. Man, am I sleepy. Mac the Whack. Kitty san. san just guy I want to see, and conveniently one of the only dudes who even knows about this place. Yeah, here I am. Well, without further ado, it's time you get acquainted with that friend I was telling you about. Come out here, Okuda san. Hey, Mac, this is the guy. Hold on a second, you're one of Majima's men, aren't you? I are. Oh, Kiryu san! Mac said his new pal was a tough cookie, but I would never have guessed it'd be you. Anyway, the man's Oku. Uh, the, the man's Okuda. <sighs> Guess double streams and a hard, long week must be taken his time with me. Wait, name's Kuda. I supervise the construction around here, though, as you can see, there's hasn't been much of it going on as late. Hold up. You know each other? Oh, uh, Mac, this guy is... He's, you can stop right there. Of course, sir. <sighs> Man, I just knew you two get along like peas in a pod. Heck, you're practically wearing the same treads, too. <sighs> Always the optimist. So what are we doing here? The whole place kind of looks... Empty. Maybe for now, bring it out, Akuda son. Aye aye, mech. Trading formation A, move out. Yes, sir. So cute, son. Is everything you ever hoped and dreamed? I don't know what to say. It's incredible. All for Mac and his perfect shot. My boys have been working their routine trying to get the setup just right. No idea you'd be lending a hand with this too, cute, son. It hit me like a flash of lightning to the skull when I saw the way you run, cute, son. It was like, I don't know why, but it felt like you were going to be my one-way ticket to the perfect shot I've been after. So you mind running some more, you know, get the camera juicy flowing? Couldn't hurt. In this town you never know when you might need some chase someone down. Am I just gonna be running by myself though? There's ten billion yen there's a ten billion yen question. The thick and thin of it is Kiryu son. I'm gonna be running run run running away and I want you to catch, catch, catch me. You sure? I'm pretty fast, you know. No problem at all. I used to live in, out among a herd of gazelles in the African plains. And my being here is proof enough that I outran every line I have come across. That's an interesting way to train. Anyway, sure, I'll help you get this perfect shot. You will? Oh, thank you. Hey, you son, just give me a holler when you want to run. If you, uh, if you beat me, I'll teach you some of my most esoteric secrets of her. World travels. Oh, I can't think of a better reward. Have you been? Oh, just great. Thank you for asking. I'd... Path of the Warrior. 
counter all masters. Okay. I don't have much in terms of accommodations to offer you, but you're free to rest here until tomorrow if you want. Don't rest. Uh, I don't know how annoying this is. Training A, training B. Keeping the rules, training A. Well, you better be. I got a big honky present for you if you can smash the record. Good luck. That was not record smashing, but I figured this is gonna take some practice. It burned my rubber out that kitty son. If I knew anyone was gonna run me down, it was you. It's technique for you. you got this special from an Irish Wiccan in World Fields, or was it a hippie in California? You could smell that peace mobile coming in my way. Let me know. Anyway, breathe in extra deep and keep. That air and lock on down up in your lungs. Channel your inner hip, you know. Your chase gauge has increased. This will let you continue chase faster. Okay. Wait, so I need to get you under 25 seconds. Was bad. I just no, I can't. That was my mistake. Could have at least reached 35, 4.35. <clears throat> okay, let's do the other trainings first before I start trying to break the records. Training B. Training. Keep running into your pursuer is too tired to keep chasing after you. You was going to ride the net. Juice looks like my goose is cooked. You really burned my rubber out, that kid, you son. If I knew anyone was gonna run me down, it was you. Since I'm teaching my signature Mac tackle, some people try to combine the two. Call it the Mackle, but I don't call those people one anymore. <laughs> anyway, this will boost the oomph you can't put in your tackle. You'll be dragging guys down like you were born to do it. the third collapsible hammer I have. Okay. Training C. Oh, 
Shit, come on. Nay, oh, you already come on. You could have done that already. Oh, bullshit. Did it just go over the forty or? Did I make it? I don't think I made it. Breath breathing technique. Ah, oh, barely. 18 seconds. Ultimate training. Let's get the ultimate training first and then do the getting everything done. You're, you're trying too soon again. And now you double tapped and you fucked it up. You could have, like, beaten that one already. That was so bad. Okay. I got this fancy breathing technique I could teach you. I think I learned it from monks in Tibet. Okay, now let's do the A training record. Suck. Every single time. This is the longest I've taken on the first one. Jesus. <sighs> These are rough. Twenty five seconds. Should be doable. Not if I... I wish I could just... Restart if it's like going bad. It's the one thing mini games always lack in Yakuza.
Oh, I did it again. Hey, you got me yet? That is my f fault. I do not- I shouldn't push him in the corners when he's like gonna go for the thing because I don't stay behind him long enough. No, at least this is my best one so far. 29. I can do it if I don't fuck up the corners and if I don't fuck up the... Like, going into one of them too soon. One. Two. Three, four, okay, wait, four, five. Oh, no, Yordi, you fucked it! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Yordi, you suck so much balls. I was getting greedy. I would have had that one. Sucks. <laughs> One, two, ah, uh, that was my mistake again. Three, four. Five. Six. Okay, got him. Congratulations! New record! <sighs> Always knew you were the top dog, kitty son. Let me slip you something as a reward. Radiant sword. Nice. Okay. Training number three. We almost had that one and I fucked it up because I was getting greedy. I do need to like do this one again good though. In the right way. See, like, if I miss those, it's already gonna fuck things up a little bit more. Three, okay. I uh, just gotta get close. Two, three. Got him. Congratulations! Majima's Ritter form? What the fuck is that? Items. Oh, no. Oh, Patriarch Batch, Patriarch Driver. Cool. Okay, last one. Ultimate training. I had this one almost before as well, and then I suddenly fucked it up. Actually, a lot easier than I 
anticipate. The first one was the hardest, because I only had 25 seconds. Max Talisman. Out of heat loss, one hit. Not bad, not bad. Pump on by when you want to run again. I don't. It was a fun one, though. Oh, cutie son. Hey. Oh, Kudat. I think I'm gonna need to train again, if you don't mind. No problem. Doll construction is not slated to start, well, technically ever, so... Well, we're in the clear. I'm sure the boss will be thrilled to lend you a hand, too. Max friend would end up being a Majima family henchman. To make an interesting pair. You'd be surprised how often we hear that. Want to know how we first met? It was at a smoky bar in... A back alley in Count Rucho. Been arguing with an old ball and chain back home, so I was sulking hard. Went to the only place I knew I could get some peace and quiet. Then some guy started going off about the foreigner who spilled a drink on him. Clearly this asshole was just trying to pick a fight with the out-of-towner. Don't know if it was my mood or because it was my turf, but I felt obligated to help the poor foreigner out. And as you might have guessed, the foreigner was Mac. We got to talking right after and spent the rest of the night wriggling, wriggling, regaling me with tall tales of all the places around the world he's gone searching for the perfect shot. Guess we just hit it off, you know? Makes sense too. I've got a pretty big travel bug myself. That's incredible. Long story short, we always got together and tossed a few back when Max in town, and now I'm gonna do whatever it takes to help him get that shot he's been after all these years. Anyway, feel free to come by whenever you want. Thanks, Okuda. Okay, well, nice. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Safe spot. Uh, let's go into here real quick to see if there's anything key related. No, I have a feeling that might just be me out of luck. Yeah, nothing. Let me see prices. Fuck. Well, at least the mech training uh, is kind of useful. I wonder if I keep that, though. But, uh... But, eh... Okay, let's go say hi to... the florist. Should ask Florence about the Alps murder. You. Hey, cutie. I heard you're looking into the Cafe Alps murder. How do you hear that? Not the rest of my information network. I know everything that goes on in this town. <laughs> I guess you do. So, do you know anything about the murder? I have the police reports in my database. What do you want to know? Murder weapon. Tell me about the murder weapon. Same type of ashtray that was found all over the cafe. There was one significant difference between those and the murder weapon. Oh, yeah, it was. The weaponized ashtray had a chipped edge. Do you know how that happened? The day of the murder, a customer knocked the ashtray off the table onto the floor, chipped it. Etch noticed it while he was cleaning up and closing time. Decided to bring it out to the dumpster to throw it away. It's so when he passed by the locker room and saw his girlfriend cheating. So there's no doubt that Keshi touched the murder weapon that uh, day. Nope. Normally the ashtray would have been washed and all the fingerprints would have disappeared. 
But the catch, she noticed that the particular ashtray had been chipped, so instead of washing it, decided to throw it away. And by that twist of fate, everyone who touched it that day still has their prints all over it. So all the fingerprints on the murder weapon were made the day of the murder, huh? After the police reports, what do you want to like to know about the fingerprints? Tell me about the fingerprints on the ashtray. These are the fingerprints from the ashtray. The prints outlined in red match catchies. This is apparently the evidence that led directly to his arrest. About the other fingerprints. Well, one thing's for sure, none of them match the prints of any of the other employees at Cafe Ops at the time. Their thoughts to be from customers who visited the cafe that day, probably two or three people. And one of the sets of prints might be from the real murderer. Certain possibility. You should be able to get more information from the people related to the case. If you haven't talked to all of them, you better. Let's see, is there anything I can loot here? A key? 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 No? Okay, now we're gonna go to the fall scene for a bit. While we work on this side quest... Say hello to my little friend. Welcome to the Underground Coliseum. It's your first time here. You'll have to register before you can fight. Tournaments are held between eight contenders or eight teams. Match just have no time limit and can only be won by knockout use of weapons strictly forbidden. Health recovers 30% in the intervals between matches. The champion receives prize money and skill points. What would you like to do? Uh, exchange points. Oh, uh, wait, I don't have enough items. Uh, space. Ask about the underground Coliseum popularity. Compete in a tournament. Street Fright Fight Grand Prix. The Big Dandy. Participate. Thank you and good luck. Wow, Kiryu is 40 years old in this game. Undefeated Kaisuke Uematsu. Jesus, these moves are so slow with these guys. Eh, <laughs> that's what I was looking for. Get you. Face your opponent, you dink. Oh, I 
Damn it, my timing on the tiger drop is hard. Hard getting peed on. That's what I was waiting for. Tiger drop! Never trust anyone. Holy shit. Mike Long. Congratulations, here's your reward. Jesus, that's so little. That's so little. Thousand gold seed points, though. Don't know if that's worth anything. Items. At least I get four HP. Use one of. Okay, you know what? Can I? No, I can. Uh, item box. Can. Good. Yes, we can. Now I want to see what I can exchange my points for. Toughness, Infinity Spark, and Maximum. Plastic Shin Guards. Black Belt. Calming Towel. Extra throwing strength, steel, shin guards, charismatic photo, wristband, block of brass, golden gem. Okay, not much. Maxim Soldado Don Carpaccio, whatever. The Dom, the Dom, the Dom, the Dom, the Dom. Slept. Booty slapped.
I still took damage though, sads. But it did what I needed to do. the timing. Congratulations, here's your reward. 4,800, 5,000 experience points, 2,000 cold scene points. Your nickname has been upgraded, you can check it out in the menu. See my info on my opponents. I haven't fought all of them yet. Popularity, one star. Fight history, one star. Will seem entertainer. Competes in a tournament. Okay, so... This is still the same as before. Just grind out these tournaments until you get enough to unlock new tournaments. Easy, no hit. No hit. <laughs> Dajima. Face all on the face. Like Schwung again. Mike Schwung, you shouldn't go lie in front of me. very fast what is jumpy kicks okay so I get half the points and half the experience for the second time around I guess that isn't too bad Purgatory Rising Star. Gimbre. Oh, 
Find the timing on this mofo. Dead body is now a dread body. Oh, only 500 experience points for rechallenge? That's 10 times less. Ah, next one, finally. Breakout Grand Prix. The Great Jacques. It's not, not how you say Jack, but sure. I just So that move I can deflect so sucks.
I just keep face tanking that move. Just step around it, Jordan. You're trying too hard with your tiger counters. Dead boy. Yada yada does a Congratulations, here's your reward, 8k, 8,000, 3,000. Your nickname has been upgraded again. Veteran Gladiator. Did I unlock a new one? No. Okay, let's continue that, uh, see what really happened to the guy. Uh, to that Oda fella. I wonder if the EXP is always, um, divided by 10 so that I get 800 experience points per tournament. We got the Kitaku Nichan on me, my moon. Uh, let's see. Usami is in Mahbo. Popo Nakamichi. Uh, the Popo Nakamichi is Shifuku. The March is this one. A uh, Showa. Never mind. Here's Nakamichi. uniform but didn't see his face how many side quests have we done today anyways side stories about 10 maybe it's our total of 122 Ah, I don't give a fuck, old man. Theater Square and speak to him. In addition to his info, you'll also learn someone stole his effects on the day of the murder. Okay. So we need to go in here. Hold up, I just want to talk. You just want to talk? Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, okay, enough. I get it, all right. You beat me in the into me. Beat into me. Oh, fuck it. Okay, entrance. Are you the guy? You're Imagawa, right? That's right. Who are you? I'm looking into the Cafe Alps murder from six years ago. What? Let's see, what should I ask? I'll buy. They say you weren't at the cafe the day of the murder, is that true? Yes, I spent the whole day at home. Hello? No, some friends came over and we played video games. His friends corroborated your alibi. That's right, so it was me. Ask about the witness statement. No, I didn't see anything. I didn't say anything. I didn't hear anything. Ask about the motive. Think of anyone who would want to kill Oda. I don't know anything, don't ask me. Ask about fingerprints. If you're gonna start saying I work low, so well, you're wrong. I wasn't anywhere near the cafe that day. Let's see what to ask. You know if you remember anything from the time of the murder. I'm the murderer, aren't they? Aren't they? No, nobody's saying anything about you. Don't believe you. Everyone hated me at that cafe. They used to harass me. Harass you? How? They even stole my wallet, CD, and uniform out of my locker the day of the murder. Uniform, CD, and wallet. Oh ho ho. You sure police didn't pick them up as evidence? Absolutely sure. Someone was harassing me, I tell you. So is she get Amy Gawa's things, eh? Damn. What's damn, Seppy boy? What are you damning about? Damn, son! So nice to chill at home. I mean, I can't disagree to that. I actually thought that lady for a second her, there had green hair. I'm so blind. You, you, are you Sawaka Yusami? Yes, what do you want? Looking into the murder that happened at Cafe Up six years ago. There's nothing left to say. Chikachi might not have killed Oda. If we're gonna find out the truth, I need to hear your account of what happened that day. Ask about the alibi. You were there when Nakechi confronted Oda, weren't you? Yes. I mean, I was the reason they fought, so of course I was there. What happened after that? Did you see Akechi yeah. kill Oda? I took off, so don't ask me. Took off? Mm -hmm. You have any idea what it feels like to have your significant other walk in? On you when you're with someone else. Talk about awkward. Okay, so it wasn't rape. It would have been even more awkward if other people started coming in to see what the fuss was all about. So I ran out of the back door. What did you do after you left the cafe? I went home. Yuichi followed me. We spent the night arguing about breaking up. Of course, I never imagined he already killed oda son. So you're saying you didn't see Akechi kill Oda. That's right. And I told the police that too. When you saw Akechi kill Oda, huh? Usunami's testimony. I was nearly an hour on the phone with a girl I'm trying to date. She's making appointments with me, but changing because of things. But her excuses are lit. She's like, you probably will not want to meet me again. I'm like, you cute creature, stop it. <laughs> Tell me about the fleeing scene. I don't know anything about that. I left the cafe before you, she didn't. Alright, okay. Ask about the motive. Are you trying to be funny? No, I mean, besides your relationship with Oda. Did he do anything, make anybody else mad? No. I don't know. Police wouldn't know if he had any loans out there or anything like that, right? 
I wasn't particularly close to him, really. We just ended up hooking up that night. Let's see, maybe I guess you really did kill Oda after seeing him with the Sami. Let's see, what to ask about the fingerprints. Right, they only found Yuichi's. Mostly replaced customers' ashtrays with clean ones, but Yuichi must have the only one who touched that one. Guess he was just unlucky. She took good care of the customers and replaced their ashtrays often. I think he must have noticed that one was chipped. Good times, good times. You cute creature, stop it. <laughs> uh, that sounds so funny. Money, money, money. It's so funny. In a rich man's world. Honey, honey. My head's pounding. My shit's floundering. Gabby, gabby, boo, boo, boo. Just saying random shit right now. Find the person who I need to talk to. Are you a cypher from our play of Cappy Alps? Yeah, who are you? Kazuma Kiryu. Kazuma Kiryu! I want to ask you about the murder that happened at Cafe Alps six oh, years no. ago. Oh, that. So what do you want to know? Let's see. Ask for their alibi. You were at the cafe at the time of the murder, oh. weren't you? Yeah, I think I was closing the register. It was after we'd closed for the night, so you didn't go anywhere near the murder scene in the locker room? Of course not. I mean, why would I? I was still working, wasn't I? What? He's acting kind of funny. Let's see. Witness statements. Saito. You know anything about the person seen running? Yeah. Seen the trend? No. I don't know anything. Only found out a murder had taken place when Kinoshita sons showed up looking as white as sheets. I didn't see the murder at all. But I did see Oda's body. I can still see it left. So I went into the locker room after the murder escaped, huh? Let's see what to ask. About the motive. Do you know about uh do you know anybody with a motive to kill Oda? Well, you reap what you sow. I mean, it was bad enough he was always messing around at the workplace, but going after another employee's woman? Got a grip. You make it sound like he slept with other women at the cafe oh. before. Yeah, I saw him hook up with other women there once. Another woman? Got a name for her? For her? Yeah, I think her last name was Saito. I guess she was dating Oda at the same time of the murder. I don't see anybody named Saito listed among the people or related to the case. She already quit the cafe by the time. I heard she still hung around Oda Sando. So Oda was dating someone at the time. He got a size testimony. Um fingerprints. Oh. I just didn't like doing an doing the ashtray ashtrays. I always left that to other people. So I guess it's natural my fingerprints weren't on the one, I guess. No more questions! <laughs> Joe was pretty boring, so thanks for helping me kill some time. You can ask me more whenever you want. I see. You remember Imagawa? Mm -hmm. Imagawa sounds familiar. Your co-worker from Cafe Alps. Oh, Mr. Gloomy? Yeah, I remember him. Imagawa says he had things stolen from his locker. You know anything about that, Asai? Oh, yeah? What do you think I had something to do with it? No? I'm just trying to find out what you know. But you really think I did, though, don't you? Okay, got me. I did it. What? 
I was just trying to make a quick buck or two. All I know was, all I took was a wall and some CDs I sold off later. Anything else? Like what? You didn't steal a Magawa yeah. uniform. How would I make any money of that? All I stole was his wall and a CD. That's all. So that's all else I took, huh? Maybe police really did take the uniform. Testimony too. Okay, back to Cafe Alps. Slick movements there, you already slick movements. Your Kinoshita son, right? That's right, who are you? Kazuma Kiryu, I want to ask you about the murder that, ha murder that happened at this cafe six years ago. Oh, that. Well, I don't know if I can tell you anything new. Go ahead. There, I'll buy. Where were you and what were you doing when Oda was killed? I was here, in the customer area, cleaning up, I believe. I believe you can see me on scared camera tapes. I wasn't in a locker room when the murder took place. Hmm. Let's see, what to ask? Ask about witness statements. They say you saw Yuichi, Yuichi Kechi fleeing the scene on the night of the crime. Tell me more about that. Yes, I saw him. That night, Kechi couldn't disappear right in the middle of cleanup. I waited a while, and when he still didn't come back, I went to check on him. That's when I saw him leaving through the back door of the cafe. Are you sure it was Kechi? Well, I only saw his back, but I'm sure it was him. If you didn't see his face, then how can you be sure it was Kechi? The man... I saw leaving through the back door was wearing our cafe's waiter uniform. Aside from Oda-san, there were only three other male employees working that night. Kechi-kun, a guy called Aisai-kun, and me. You can see Aisai-kun spending the night closing the register on the security tapes. The person I could have seen would have been a Kechi-kun. See, after that, I called the police and waited at the back door until they showed up. No one tried to enter or leave during that time. He, no, Shita didn't see the criminal's face. Ask about motive. Mm. Well, I'm not sure. I didn't really talk to him much outside of work, I see. Fingerprints. Just because we can. No, they weren't. I kept thinking that if I had touched that ashtray that day, I would have been blamed for the murder. Stop asking questions! No shit, um... Are you a detective, Kiryu-san? Not exactly what he asked. No reason. I was just wondering why anyone would be looking into the case now. I'm trying to help a friend out of Yui Chikechi is innocent, innocent. You think someone else could have been murderer? It's possible. I see. I would feel terrible for Akechi-kun if he really was innocent all this time. I can't imagine what it's like to be imprisoned for a crime you didn't commit, especially for six years. That'd be horrible. That's why we're trying to find out the truth. If you think of anything else, let me know. Uh, go in. Go back out. Funny seeing Euro here, what's up? I'm taking one of my clients out on town. We were in the area, so I thought I'd drop in and see him. Taking our client out on the town. Don't you mean you're going to one of those host clubs? My client just happens to like host clubs. Really, just a coincidence. Bonton Tactic. Which is your perfume that it's strong? To oh, really? I didn't think so, but look, it's time. Okay, I've got to go. That Yuko. That Yuko. Was that woman talking to Kinoshita? That's Kinoshita's wife, Yuko san. So, Kinoshita's wife, how did you know that? She's actually used to work here. That's how I know her. She worked here, is that so? That's right, she already quit by the time the murder happens, though. 
and she wasn't in the security tapes of the dining area, so she didn't definitely wasn't the cafe off the time. It does sound like Initiative's wife is involved in the case, but maybe I should look into her anyway. Testimony. Ugh. Okay, on to the one and only place called Stardust. -o. No, not the JoJo Stardust. -o. Stardust Crusader! Let's see, where is she? Is that. Looks like, you know, she does why you go. Hey, someone brings you here. Yeah, what can you tell me about the woman over there? You mean Yuka-san? She's been a regular customer of ours for years. What do you want with her? She looks awfully rich for someone oh. so young. She manages a venture-funded startup company, got popular, making products targeted at young women, and it's been growing pretty fast over the last four or five years. Is that so? Oh, Yuya, who's this? Who's that? I haven't seen him here before. Is he a oh. new host? Ah, Yuka-san, this is san We owe a lot to this man here. And no, he's not a host. Oh, I see. Well, that's unfortunate. This is my company, by the way. If you ever need anything, just give me a call. Sure. I know. Tonight was fantastic. Arigatou gozaimashite. Collect all the information I can right now. I should go back to see Detective Maeda. Maedemo Conarium! I guess I still need to wait about that renovation area. Haven't seen anything proc up about that. Time to go say hi to the Bentim. Bim 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 Bentim. Also, let's get a smile, bird good. Smile! Crap, press the wrong button again. Don't order anything. Smile! Eat here, yes. Tuna burger set. Arigato gozaimasu. Bim 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 Just listen for a sec. I'm expecting something to happen. It probably has something to do with Haruka. Either Haruka or Rukiyama. Bim 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 Let's go talk. Uh, first things first, actually. Let's drink ourselves into a coma. Sky Vodka. Oh, more. Hmm, nope, I still don't see anything off about any of this. You have it? Oh, it's you. So, did you find proof of Akechi's innocence yet? <laughs> was that you were looking at. Oh, this this is the list of evidence we made during the investigation six years ago. You're taking such a hard look at this case, I thought I'd better take another glance myself. Uh. I see that, I guess, but you won't find anything wrong with it. I only can't figure out why you think Ketchy is innocent. Wait a minute, what's this? What's that? I finally got it. Is it really this simple all along? No mistake about it, somebody framed no. Ketchy. What, are you serious? Yeah, I'll explain everything, but first, I need you to round up everyone related to the case. I'll turn out fine, you'll see. Okay, just don't blame me if it doesn't. I'll get everyone, everybody together at the cafe. 
that ought to work, right? Yeah, that's fine. Got all the evidence I need. It's time to reveal what really happened six years ago. It's time for the truth. What anime was that song from again? After all, I happen to be a dumbass who doesn't remember anything. Kirita. Oh wait, I remember. That was a Yu-Gi-Oh song. Anyone else? Artificial bouquet. La da da na na na. Mm -hmm. Took some damage. Let's actually go buy another burger. You just shot my saying. Raised pork burger set. All that's left is the shake, 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 the shake, and the fries. Well, I did, as you asked, detective, I closed the cafe and kicked everyone out. Now, what is this all about? Kitty's son and his friend here would like to talk to you all of you. I have you here for one reason and one reason alone. I'm sure you all remember the murder that took place here six years ago. The victim was Kazuo Oda-san, the manager of this cafe at the time. One of the employees, Yuichi Akechi, was arrested for his murder. But, did Akechi-san really kill Oda-san? I'd like to ask each of you to think back to that day. Do any of you have any evidence, and truly conclusive evidence, that Akechi-san was really the one who killed Oda-san? I've been struggling with one question since the day of that murder. Could Akechi, could Akechi actually be innocent? I want to say, could Akechi be... <laughs> could Akechi... Uh, but before I could find out for sure, an article I wrote implicating Akechi's son as the murderer got published. But thanks to Kiryu's son here, we finally arrived at the truth of what happened six years ago. If Akechi's son is innocent, what that means someone else is guilty. Exactly. But what do you base all of this on, Kiryu's son? Show them the proof of Yuichi's son. Yuichi Akechi's innocence. What should I give them first? Usami's testimony. Usami was the one who saw Akechi and Oda fight the day of the murder, isn't that right? Yeah, but I left in the middle of it. In other words, she didn't actually see Akechi's son kill Oda-san. Exactly, and only Usami saw Oda and Akechi fighting. So we can't conclude Yuichi Akechi killed Oda, which means the charge against him could all could be false. <laughs> Sorry, but that doesn't hold water. What do you mean? Akechi's prints were on the weapon used to kill Oda. That's the solid evidence to prove Akechi did it. Is that all you have to say? Huh? What do you mean? This was your case. You ought to know Akechi's fingerprints on the murder weapon alone weren't enough to convict him. I don't follow. Spell it out for us, William. It's evidence. Uh, ashtray fingerprints.
The ashtray used as the murder weapon hadn't been washed because it was supposed to be thrown out. Kachi's prints weren't the only ones on it. That means you can't prove his guilt from fingerprints alone. Detective, is that true? Mm, yes, it's just as he says. So you admit it might not have been my brother? Yeah. But that still is not enough to prove someone else did it. Somebody witnessed Kachi fleeing the scene. That's another piece of solid evidence. Kino Shita testimony. Think about it. You think the person actively fleeing the scene of a crime is culprit, wouldn't you? Why'd they run away if they didn't do anyway? What do you have to say about that? Kiryu san, do you have any information to refute the witness statement about Kakechi san? Let's see. There was a hole in one of the witness statements. It just need to argue the angle. Kino Shita's testimony. Kinesita, you saw Akechi fleeing the scene, right? Yes, I did. Are you sure? I'm not lying, I'm sure I saw him. But you didn't see the face of the person fleeing the scene. You said that, right? Yeah, I only saw his back. So then it's possible you saw someone else. Is that all you got? The police wouldn't have arrested Akechi on just any vague old evidence, you know? There was also something that proved the person Kinesita saw was, in fact, Akechi. And what was that? The man Kinoshita saw leaving the scene of the crime was wearing the Cafe Ops waiter uniform. The only waiter's employees by the cafe at the time were Kinoshita, Azai, Iga, Imagawa-sons, and Akechi-sons. The security tapes show Kinoshita and Azai out front at the time of the murder. We've also confirmed that Imagawa-san was at home. Therefore, by process of elimination, the only waiter Kinoshita-san could have seen was Akechi. Is that true? No. It is absolutely impossible that the person Kinoshita saw was not a catchy statement to prove. Well then, why don't you share the statement with us? Uh, Imagawa's testimony. There was actually another crime committed at this cafe the day of the murder six years ago. Another crime? That's the first I've heard of it. Imagawa's uniform disappeared from his locker in the cafe Alps locker room that day. Gawa-kun's uniform? Yes, my uniform disappeared from my locker. Since you weren't present uh, the day of the murder, when did you notice it was missing the day after Oda was murdered? I came to work, police were investigating, so I couldn't go in. But once the police left, I looked in my locker and saw that my uniform was gone. Come on, the police probably took his evidence. I'm sure there were was plenty of stuff missing from the crime scene. You're wrong, someone was definitely harassing me. Everyone teased me. Asai-kun, why don't you tell them... You took my uniform. You took everything else. The uniform must have been you, too. You're so whiny. Bully police, whoever took it, it has nothing to do with the catch or this case. No, Magawa's uniform is the key to this case. Uh, what do you mean? I'll show you right now. I can show them two pieces of evidence that prove what happened to e. Magawa's uniform. List of evidence. And the other piece is Asai's testimony number two. The list of evidence I borrowed from you. There was no waiter uniform on it. See, you're right. I don't see any waiter uniform listed. In other words, the uniform disappeared before the police showed up. If the police didn't confiscate it, who could have taken it? It was Asai-kun, right? No, not Asai. He did steal things from you, true. But he wasn't doing it to harass you. He was just after some cash. Your wallet and CDs make sense, but your uniform wouldn't have been worth anything. Well, then who did it? You mean the murderer took it? Exactly. The criminal wanted to make it look like somebody else committed the crime, so they stole the waiter's uniform and changed into it. Then, as soon as somebody came by, they hit their face and ran out of the back door. Is that true? So you're saying the person who stole E. Magawa's uniform and fled the scene is the real criminal? Yeah. And who might that be? The real criminal is Yuko Kinoshita, right? Jacuz. Accuse. Kiryu san. So, there are some of the Jimbuts no Namayo, Shetekasai. 
六年前、小田さんを殺し、明智さんに罪をかぶせた事件の真犯人とは、一体。犯人は。You want to know the real killer? Yuko! Yuko Kinoshita, you're the one who orchestrated Oda's death. Her? Are you serious? I can't believe it. What? Yuko killed Oda san? Interesting theory, but why would I kill Oda san? I didn't have any reason to do anything like that. Yeah. Yuichi Akechi's motive was Usami's son's a relationship with Oda. Exactly how are Yuko and Oda son connected? It's something to prove Yuko and Oda knew each other somehow. Asai. Asai's original testimony. Oda was dating somebody at the time of the murder. Somebody who used to work as a waitress at Cafe Alps. What? Is that true? Yeah, and her na last name was Saito. Saito, that's Yuko's maiden name. I hear you worked at this cafe until just before the time of the murder. Yuko-san, Oda-san were dating? I didn't know that. Yuko-san, is that true? I don't have to answer that. Yuko. If Oda-san was dating Yuko, then Usami wasn't the only one cheating. Oda was cheating too. That means Yuko also had motive to kill Oda-san. So anyone with a motive is a killer? You haven't done anything but ha ha hypothesize. Exactly. You've only talked about possibilities. Do you have any conclusive evidence that she murdered him? Conclusive evidence like fingerprints? If only I had something with Yuko's fingerprints on it. Dun dun, Yuko's business card. This is the evidence. Is that my business card? This business card has your fingerprints on it. We should be able to compare the fingerprints on this card to the ones of the murder weapon. Need a business card. Let's check it out right now. Finished analyzing the prints on the card. These are Yuko's Kinoshita's prints, and these are the prints on the ashtray. Oh. Yeah, it's there. Boom. The prints on Yuko-san's business card are the same as the ones of the murder weapon. I don't believe it. <gasps> How do you explain that? Even if my prints are on that ashtray, so what? How does that change anything? What do you mean? I had it out the day of the murder. You must have just touch the ashtray while I was there. She's right, there's no crime in touching an ashtray. She was just a customer. No, Yuko's lying. I should call her out on it. Wa Kazo's testimony. You're lying. What the hell are you talking about? There's no record of you coming to cafe uh, to the cafe the day of the murder, right, Detective Maeda? He's right. We had cafe Alps employees watch all the security tapes and they gave statement that no other cafe employees former or otherwise visited the cafe that day. Right, Kinoshita san. That's right. I'd seen Yuko's face before, so I would have noticed if she was on those tapes. She definitely wasn't. Which means you didn't come to the cafe to Cafe Alps on the day of the murder's customer. So why were your fingerprints on the ashtray then? Fine. Maybe it wasn't on the day of the murder. It might have been the day before. It's not that big of an issue. Nope. You had to have been there the day of the murder. You weren't a customer. You were the real murderer, huh? The only people who could have have prints on the weapon were those who visited the day of the murder. How did you come to that conclusion? And now for the coup de gré. The gura. Not gré, but gura. Gura. I just need something to prove when the prints on the murder were made. And that is where the florist's testimony comes in. Where are, are cleaned every day, but your prints were still on the murder weapon. That means you had to have been there the day of the murder, but... The day of the murder, customer dropped the ashtray, chipped it. Yuichi's, uh, Yuichi Akechi saw the chipped ashtray and instead of washing it, decided to throw it out. 
since you couldn't have come to Cafe's customer that day, there's only one time you could have left your prince on the ashtray. You did it after Akechi dropped the ashtray in the locker room when he witnessed Usami cheating on him with Oda. Sometime after Akechi left and before Kinoshita came to check up on him, you entered the locker room and murdered Oda. Then you put on Imagawa's uniform and went out the back. Isn't that right? Yuko-san, is what Kiryu-san says true? Mm -hmm. It's all, it'll only get worse if you stay quiet. Shut up, I told you I didn't do it. Give up. Yuko, I'm putting an end to this. What? You know something, Kinoshita-san? I knew f you came to the cafe that day, Yuko. What? How? I could smell you. It was very faint, but I could smell your perfume all around the crime scene. No way, why didn't you say this earlier? I've been in love with Yuko ever since we worked together. That's why I knew the scent of her perfume the minute that I smelled it. Sometime after the murder, I happened to run into her again. Eventually, we started dating. One day, I brought up the murder and her face went white. She felt quiet and avoided commenting on anything. That's when I was sure that Yuko had been the, the, here the day of the crime. Well, I'll be. But I still didn't know exactly what that meant, or should I say, I didn't want to know what that meant. When I found out Kiryu was looking into the old crime, I decided to keep it all a secret. But now Yuichi Akechi has suffered six years of a crime he didn't commit, all because I didn't say anything. It's all my fault. If I had just spoken up, none of this would have happened. Gee, Nishita-san. Love gets in the way of things, so... Are you done coming up with excuses? Yuko-san, I'm going to ask you once more. Were you really the one who took Oda-san's life? So Watashi wa wakaru. It was me all along. We oh, give a statement that Yuichi Akechi is innocent. Yes, Akechi san had nothing to do with the murder. Could you have done such a thing? Is it really because Oda was cheating? Of course, that's what it was about. He said he was going to marry me. A day was his Oda-san's birthday. I wanted to surprise him, so I grabbed his present and went to the cafe. But it was already closed, so I came in through the back door and headed for the locker room. But when I got there, I saw him cheating on me with some other woman. I hid for a while, trying to calm down. I tried desperately to understand what I'd just seen. That's when Akechi Sun showed up. When Akechi Sun peeked into the locker room and saw Yusami Sun cheating on him with Oda Sun, he dropped the ashtray and grabbed Oda Sun. But as I heard them starting yelling, I saw Yusami Sun rush out of the locker room and out the back door of the cafe. And Akechi ran out of the building after her. I went into the locker room once Yusami Sun and Akechi Sun had left. Oda san looked surprised to see me at first, but then he realized I knew he'd been cheating. He started talking about breaking up with me. He said, I want to be with Usami, it's over. When I heard those words, I saw words I saw red. Next thing I knew, I'd hit Oda san with the ashtray. I just saw it dropped on the floor. The rest is just as Kiryu says. I changed into a uniform I found in one of the lockers and waited by the back door for somebody to come. Someone came in from the front, so I hid my face and ran out the back door. I figured nobody would suspect me since I didn't have anything to do with the cafe anymore. Several years passed, I ran into Kinoshita, and we eventually got married. 
start selling things as a hobby and it soon turned into a business. Before I knew it, it grew into a large company. It's been six years since that day and my life's been going so well. I can't believe the truth came out now of all times. Yuko-san, did you ever think what it felt for like for akechi son to have to bear these false charges? What it felt like to be knocked down to rock bottom and have to f his freedom stolen from him these past six years? And think what would have happened if we hadn't revealed the truth just now. How many more years would he have suffered? Only the person who took Akechi's son's freedom away can give it back. You need to turn yourself in. Testify in front of the court and pay for your crimes. I escort you to the station. Yes, you go. Be right here waiting for you when you get back. Masaru, thank you. Masaru! Nice. Okay, this actually went quite the opposite direction as what I thought it was. I honestly thought, like, uh, it was kind of a different thing in Jingy. But, uh, cool, cool. I love this. Sometimes these side quests are just so good. Extra, extra, guilty criminal of six year. Old murder turns herself in. The man originally accused of the crime now stands to be acquitted at a new trial. Is wrong about the media. I thought he went from one person to the next looking for gossip. Didn't think you cared about the people in your articles. Figured you just forgot about them the second they left your pages. You've been worrying about my brother this whole time. You even proved his innocence. There are decent people in the media. Thank you so much for helping him. Nozomi san. I also have to apologize for the way I treated you. I want to give you a reward for helping me get to retrial for my brother. You don't know me anything. As much as I hate to admit it, I didn't do anything on this one. Proving your brother's instant was all the work of Kiryu san here. Certainly don't deserve any reward from you. What are you talking about? You did what a real journalist is supposed to do. What do you mean? Sure, you wrote an article of saying Akechi was a murderer, but now you've written an article clearing his name. Isn't that the way that a real journalist is supposed to resolve things? Sure, but... But I won't let this be the end of it. I'll continue to follow the truth until the day I put down my pen. That's my duty as a reporter. And I'll be cheering you on. So this is one of those quests that could have gone awfully wrong. 20k experience points, nice. Hot damn, son! Okay, let me actually look up what this guy needed. It's not necessarily for now, but for later, because I don't think I can. Do the, I'm not gonna do this quest right now. Ashimoto renovations. Oh, damn. Temporal F. Ashimoto uh, renovations. Boom. Yakuza 3. Ashimoto Renovations location. Down and turn down all the other requests, such as about the fire alarm system. At the end of it, you get into a fight with them. Wait, what? Termines? Or 
watch out for renovations. Watch out for renovations. A1. Uh, you must finish convenient robbery in front of Serna as an old man speak with him. Now ask you about it, the local renovations company. Kiryu is saying he's not familiar with them. Now enter Serna. Um. Okay. I just, like, I probably, I would have gone into this quest, like, instantly if I just went inside the Serna. Which I was planning on doing, because I needed to save. Oh, perfect timing, Kiryusa. I need you to go pick up some supplies. I think you could look... I think you could look after the place while I'm gone. Yes, I could. Watch the bar. Sure, I'll do it. Don't know much about bar tendering, though. No problem. There's nobody in here right now, anyway. And with a big guy like you behind the counter, I don't have to worry about security. Got it. Won't be long. Wonderful. I'll be back soon. Still the customers. Wait! Oh, somebody's coming. Are you the owner here? We're from Ashimoto Renovations. We're based in the city, but we mainly renovate old buildings all over Kamerucho. Ashimoto Renovations? Where have I heard that name before? This building is pretty darn old. I'll bet it was built before the earthquake-proof construction was implanted. But what I'm really worried about is termites, because those little buggers eat away at the foundation. Mind if we take a look? It won't take long. Termites? I'm pretty sure this building is made out of concrete. Perfumes. Now this place is made out of concrete. Not exactly a delicate uh, delicacy for termites, oh. Yeah? Uh, sorry about that, buddy. Guess we got our buildings mixed up. But what about your plumbing? Got any leaks? Bad pipes? I think we better check out the plumbing too, <laughs> to be safe, signed. Let's just fix perfumes. No thanks, we just had the plumbing fix. Um, so I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, well, if you say so. But before we go, what's your smoke alarm situation? They're required by law, you know? They were just talking about that on TV. You gotta pay a hefty fine if you don't... Got no smoke alarms. And a lot of people have paid dearly when fires break out for smoke alarms. I'm pretty sure this place had them put in a long time ago. Refuse. No need. I'm pretty sure this place had smoke alarms put in a while back. Oh, yeah? Well, I hope you're right. That's enough, this place is fine, so get out. What the hell is your problem? We're nice enough to come down here and help, and now you try and chase us out? Maybe we all teach you, uh, s teach you some mammoners, Pops. I'm dying to learn some. Let's take it outside. You're gonna regret this more than ways than one, pal. More ways than one! Ashimoto reform. Compatible DTTV. Oh. Uh, my fucking collarbone. Stop cheating people out of their money. <sighs> okay, time to find my next customer. Oh wait, she's already here. I'm back. Did you get any customers? No. You know, I was just talking to a restaurant owner nearby. He's telling me there are a lot of renovation scams going around lately. People asking about termites, smoke alarms and such. Those men on their way out had... Uh, coveralls on it, so I thought they might be a couple of phony revenators. Something happened while I was gone. No, nothing important, really. Well, here's something for your trouble. You did me a big favor after all, huh? Couldn't make you watch the place for free, but I'm pretty sure you just stood or I stood around the whole time, and I can't take money from you after all that you've done for me. I'm a proud Kamurucha woman. I refuse to make you work without paying. Just take it and make me happy. All right, if you insist. 50k. I'd ask you for help again sometimes, now that I know I can count on you. Yeah. Mm. Renovators were a couple of scam arts, after all. 
Oh, hey there. Did you ever find the construction company you were looking for? Sure did. In fact, they swindled me out of my money with some funny renovations. Heard their president was just arrested by police arrest. Apparently, some of their workers were in the hospital with some injuries. They were identified by law enforcement there. Ha! <laughs> Sucker. Well, I see. Will you be getting your money back then? Well, the police said they'll get money back for me so I can rest well in my old age. But I'd sure like to shake the person's hand who smashed up those blast renovation workers and sent them to the hospital. Hey <laughs> hey. Uh, well, you just thank them, so no worries. Date by yo. Save. Saved. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Time to go to bed. Whew. Um. Return to the title screen. Sure. Guys, gals, ladies and gents, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you had a fantastic time. Uh, we're done. We're done with Yakuza 0. We're not going to be playing through uh, Yakuza 0. This is Yakuza 3. Or 1. We're done with Yakuza 3 remaster. Uh, the 100% completion thing, that's going to be something that I do during my off time while I watch something, etc. You know how it goes with me. I love completing my games, even though it's hard work and some pain in my ass. Uh, other than that, I think I'll take tomorrow off. We might have an early day Yu-Gi-Oh stream tomorrow. Maybe, kind of depends on how I feel. I'm very tired right now, so I'm kind of glad that we put in a lot of effort so far already. Uh, let me think. Yeah, so we got the new pull-up for the next game. So if you want to, like, vote for a specific game on the list that you'd like to see next, just go to that link and uh, click it. Uh, we'll be playing for that game next once that hits, so probably starting Sunday. And I think that's it. I think that's all I want to say. Guys, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, and subscribe. And click that notification bell. And until the very next time, good night.